Yo. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Good, um, good evening. Man, I don't usually stream in the, at the nighttime. What the hell? You guys hear me? Microphone, camera working, gameplay working. You guys working? You guys home from work? I'm in Brimacomb right now. Jamie, what up, dude? What's up, man? You're Brimacomb? Lucky guy, man. Treading the slopes up. Is Brimacomb, um... Is that what you're doing? Is you're the map out? Snowboarding? The map is out. The map is available. Camera mic works. What up, guys? What up? Ollie first. Ollie was the first one, I think. Future locks. Skating Satan. Uh, who else? My bot. Botrix is here working. Nice. Devante, what up? Side eye. What up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? I can't uh, deny. I've already been playing the map. It's already... Okay. Rate, rate the map 1 out of 10 in the chat. I want to see. Because I think it's like... I have, a, I have an opinion already. What do you guys think, though? What's the map? Map is fire? Like, 1 out of 10. What do you guys think? I haven't seen it, Log? You haven't seen the map, dude? Okay, I th I'm thinking it's 11. <laughs> 9. I can't 2. stream Skater XL on Twitch, it just crashes. No way, really? You can't stream Skater XL on Twitch, it just crashes? It might just be your settings, like your OBS settings. Stream settings. Dude, this map is insane. <laughs> it's the craziest map I've seen. If the music's too loud, guys, let me know. But, um... Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Just the background music. Dude, I think this is the best map I've ever seen in this game. Just go. All right, let's uh, start off with... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load the map back up because when you load in, it's pretty cool how it uh, how it loads in. Because like you, you just start off at an iconic spot. Let me go back to the map section here. Schoolyard. So there it is. The extra network. Got the DLC. 10 bucks. 10 bucks Canadian. Map is a 12. Yeah, you, you load in right here at Hollywood High. So the first thing you gotta do is. Second session now because I've been playing Skater XL. Second session because you've been playing Skater XL? Yeah, that's the same thing with me, guys. Like, don't expect the greatest gameplay because I've been locked in with XL for a little bit. But I have been playing a little bit of session off stream. I played last night too. And I got my settings rig, got my camera looking good. Um, I'm using realistic manual catch too. I just started using manual catch. So if I fall a lot, that, that'll be why, but I might push the auto catch. I'm trying to learn how to flick the flick the catch, essentially. Let me turn off my camera late. I'm taking a taking a picture. You are medium mod is about to be clutch. My medium mod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking I'll show you guys that medium mod pretty soon. Um I still have that mod. And my website, guys. I've been, I've been doing some website stuff. I usually I want to stream and make more videos, but I've been locked in with my website because at, when I'm ready with the website, I'm gonna make a video on it because I got some really really sick stuff I made. You can upload complete stat and setting packages. You can download them. You can log in. I wish the grinds were the same as Skater XL. Dude, what was that? What was that? Monks, thanks for the subscription, dude. Thank you, man. Nighttime, Moki. What's it? Yeah, nighttime milky, man. It's a little bit different than normal. I my sleep schedule has been backwards. Like I've been going to bed at like six in the morning after like doing my website stuff or like up uploading to the website. Sleeping in late. I want to usually go like live and make a video early, but my schedule's like flipped over. I woke up like like two o'clock in the afternoon this afternoon. Yeah, it's a new DLC, guys. New DLC. Let me turn up my game sounds a little bit. Audio, master volume. Is this okay? I think this sounds alright to me. Cocktails? Oh, got the, the grind going there. DLC is pretty hard. It is dope. So this is Hollywood High. I'm gonna go down to the rest of the map now, cause like it's it's insane. I started playing this map and I was like blown away with like, you can go from iconic spot to iconic spot, just back to back in like one line. What up, Brucey? Investigating IRL? I did, yeah. I took the winter off because it was like a pretty harsh winter in Canada. Or not, 
harsh, but like a lot of snow and not a lot of places to skate. But I went uh, skating last week. Or last, yeah, last week. This weekend was kind of raining and stuff. I can really go, go skateboarding. I know it's a DLC though, and need to buy it, but I do hope they port this map to other games. <laughs> this map is insane. I would pay for that. But yeah, this map is pretty crazy. All right, kickflip first. Form it up. I'm trying to get used to manual catch. I flick the catch stuff. Go to front crook. Missed the lock in there. Front board. Oh no! Hanging on. Like this spot here, iconic. Everything. Like everything is a perfect recreation. You got like this next to this. El Toro. Crazy. <clears throat> Why can't Excel put a map succession? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Unreal Engine just looks insane. And I heard that they're gonna port this game to Unreal Engine 5. So I mean, it might be looking better in the future. Like this game's, it looks amazing how, how it is, but just think of Unreal Engine 5, what it can do. Oh no. How much is the map? Go the Jimmy Thomas gap? Yeah, dude. Dude, it's crazy. Cause the, what got me into skateboarding originally when I was, when I was a kid, was seeing Jimmy Thomas do the Leap of Faith. <clears throat> He's my first favorite pro. I saw that gap. I'm like, yo, what the hell? People can do that kind of stuff. Although he didn't land it. But you can skate like the Leap of Faith. Or no. There's like that Nigel Houston rail that goes into the Leap of Faith. Like, look at this thing. Sort of line over here on this massive rail. Look at this thing. Look at that rail. Then go down over here to Leap of Faith. Dude, I love how you can just go spot to spot, like two different spots in real life, but back to back like that. Look at this hubba. I'm sure these are all real life, or most of them are real life spots. I can't name all of them, but there's a lot of little recreations here and there. Spots are, yeah. Th there's gonna be gonna go eat Chick-fil-A. All right, here we go. There's, there's one spot that's so sick in this map. Like the flow in it is insane. Like the elevation changes. Back lips. Leap of faith. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, you can recognize the spots. They're so well done. You can recognize them. Like easy day high in Skater XL. Love you, man. Thank you, man. The, the spots in Skater XL, like they're kind of like, you know, they're recognizable, but they're not like recreations, really. They're, they're kind of like, you know, stylized versions of them. But these look like you're just at the spot. I want to... Yo. Dude, I can hop... I'm going to make a video. I'm going to hop into VR with the with the VR mod and just look around in this map. I'm going to look, look, at, look at El Toro. Look at the spot to see how it looks like in real life. In VR. Dude. It's going to be so sick. Okay, I'll show you guys the next spot, too. Hold on. After this line here. You should, yeah, dude. Hold on. Back, uh, pick the back tail or something? Oh, no, I'm gonna fall. I keep forgetting that you have to pop from, like, the, the edge of the board to, like, pop sideways and stuff. Oh, shit. That was one. <gasps> Yo! Ow. I'm trying to do manual catch, but it's pretty hard. Even like on flat ground. Have you seen the inlines dude that eats it hard? I think I did. I was worried about, I was kind of cringing when I was watching that because I like, didn't want him to break his ankle. I think he might have hurt himself too, but yeah, that was nuts. The blader guy. Oh, my traffic are kind of weird. I need to like set up longer. <clears throat> How do you choose a new location? Um, that was so clean. The landing was bad though. You just go to the maps and then you scroll over with the right bumper. Keep laughing at the bales. Or no, you scroll over with the D-pad, sorry. It's under extra networks. Schoolyard. So look at this one spot over here, guys. This spot, where was it? Where was it? Is it right here? No, I think it's over here. I'm lost already. I have no idea where it is. Yeah, this spot. Yo, look at this. Start off like on that stair set, which is also like uh, I forget the name of that one, but that's a, that's a this is in Buster Bale. 
What's this spot called, guys? This is literally in Buster Bale. But obviously it's in real life too. Here from real life. Um, John Hill just posted a video on this spot. You can hit this, go down like over here. Hold on. Super OG spot. Yeah, mega OG. It's under like a lot of the older videos. That's a weird little catch there. And then go back like tail over this. Oh shit. I like how it just flows. It's not like straight ground. Oh, that's kind of weird. Hold on. I need to check just my settings a little bit. This is really hard to play. With the manual catch stuff. this no i over rotated how do you what's the best way to catch guys like i use i'm using flick to catch how like i know you flick the catch but what direction do you flick is there like a proper way to do it do you flick in inside the board or do you flick outside or do you let go before you land like how do you not bounce off the ground like, I did that one nice. I press up and down. Do I press inside or outside? <clears throat> is this fun DLC? This is... This right here, guys, is probably the best map I've seen in not just Session, but in, like... It might be, like, the top three maps I've ever seen in a skateboarding game. This map right here. Like, this map is gonna, gonna go down to history. It's actually insane. Like, you know how Easy to High School is, like, that replayable? because of the spots and stuff and how it flows. Like this map is that times 50. It's like just a better, almost better easy day high school a little bit. Like just real nice flow. Yeah. Yo, Drew, thanks for the prime, dude. Oh, that was beautiful. Hold on over this bench or the pick table. Ooh. Are we flowing boys? Dude, I'm just going to keep, like, rolling and see where I end up. Okay, on the ground, apparently. You pretending it ran out of play it? <sighs> I wonder how many DLCs I'm going to sell today. <sighs> yeah, man. Like, I, I used to, like, you know, I'm not really down with the DLCs all the time because, like, you know, it costs money. You, want, you don't want it to be free, but this, this map is worth it, though. Like, I bought the water park. I bought the... What's the other map? Like the, the the water park and the other one, like the mall, they're they're really nice, but they're not, you know, that standout ish. I don't really go back and play them very often. But you know, this, I'm gonna be playing session off stream because I just like this. This is awesome. This should be like the gold standard of maps. You should recreate some parts from all the famous spots. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry if I'm missing chat, guys. I'm like really hyped over the game. Um. I keep missing stuff. If I do miss, you wanted me to read it, just paste it back in. Oh, God. Have you seen the new Elden Ring DLC? No, I have not seen it. I have not seen that. I heard that came out, though. I was sleeping all day. I was watching a bit of XQC earlier, and he's gonna, he's gonna watch that, but I missed... Missed the juicy reaction. Alright, so Nolly backside flip. People. So how do I not do that? Over rotation, I need to flick it, right? What? Still playing Shredders? I haven't played in a couple weeks, but I'm gonna still play it. Yeah. I modded my game out recently. There we go. Yo, Jim, what up, dude? <clears throat> you be smoking these days? I mean, I be smoking every day. Oh, man. Roof gaps. Um. How do you use the object dropper wait oh yeah oh yeah look at that oh yeah that's so sick there's definitely some roof gaps Even the tree makes noise. Like you're in the tree, just makes tree noises. 
I wonder if they hit an emu. Like, don't they do that usually? Is it the same team that makes these maps? Like, they hide, like, golden chickens or something? <laughs> You guys hear that? What was that? You guys hear that? Flippy kick spin? When it first happened, it scared you. What was that? Speaker. Huh. Like on the school speakers, eh? You just like announced that just over the whole map? PA messages. That's so sick. I don't know where to go. There's security. Oh, I thought you said there is security guards. Like, that would be sick. Oh, wait, can I turn on NPCs in this map? Is that a thing? Experimental. Physical animations enabled. Caspers. These are, these are disabled. City life settings. Pedestrians on. So that's, this will make people, right? Yo, smoke what up, dude. dies okay i didn't i've never seen carl's bad though i don't know wait this is carl's bad i found it <laughs> i was so that's so like dude i just recognized it. i didn't even see the stair set or the gap i just recognized the run-up that's how good the spot recreation is i just seen the landing like that's that's carl's bad yeah Chris smacked on the stairs. All right, give me some, some tricks we can try to recreate. Maybe, maybe film even. I don't know. Yo, keep us, keep it here. <laughs> you know that this machines can you move them? What do you mean? You can you move stuff? Probably. Yeah, I forgot. In this game, you can pick stuff up like just random objects. You can just grab it. Ooh. Hold on. Back. Nolly back heels. The vending machines? Hold on. Oh! I don't know if I flick up or flick down. I'm trying to learn this manual catch, but it's like... Okay, that was how you do it. That was... That was a butter. Yeah. Uh. I they made that one. Chris Cole back three kickflip. The Blizzy. The Blizzard flip. Nolly hard flip. All right. I'll try all these tricks. Oh, that was nasty. How do I um, change the camera mode? Dude. I don't know how to film very well, but let me try. Um, field of view, turn this on like something crazy, like 30 or something, I don't know, or no. Like something like up here. And then camera. And then I don't know what, the, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just gonna try this and place a keyframe. Go back like this. I'm just gonna film a like close up and then Zoom back out later, because this editor's kind of weird to get used to. I don't know what I'm doing. Just place a keyframe, keyframe, just kind of film it, and then, okay. And now we're gonna try some zooming. I don't know. I just did this backwards. Field of view. So we'll place one there. We already have that, right? Go forward. Maybe like go something like that. Something like that. Sure, I'll just keep it there, whatever, it doesn't matter. Camera. Fix this keyframe right in the middle here. Fix this keyframe. Delete this keyframe. Get rid of that one, maybe, I don't know. Add that one, okay, whatever. And then just like field of view. Or no, sorry, depth of field. That's fine. Go closer. Sure, let's keep that. Why not? Sure. I guess, I guess it's fixed, right? Oh, no. 
Uh, uh, uh. Can't see the spot. I didn't zoom over it enough. It does me up more. Damn. Okay. I've been filming this game in a long time. Made you hop on? Okay, hold on. What's more tricks? Got the blizzard flip. You need the nolly hard flip now. Nolly horde flip. I kind of have an issue a little bit though. Like switching from auto catch, it's hard to tweak your tricks out. Like, how do you. If you're flicking the catch, how do you like push your sticks out to also tweak your trick before you catch it? Is that possible? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, what? Why was that so perfect? <laughs> Jeremy Ray, front three, Tom Penny, switch, front side flip. Dude, they should... They have the historical challenges on at all on this map. They should definitely... They should add that. The historical challenges would be go crazy on this map. That would be like... 5,000 challenges, at least. Um, front threes? Should I, go, should I make it slow? I need to tweak it out better. Played mail catch for 600 hours. We switched to auto because it looks better. Yeah, there's an issue like, like when I flick a trick and try to go to a grind, for example, I have to wait for the. Just did a little dance there. I have to wait for the trick to come all the way around before I can catch it, or else I end up auto catching at like the bottom or whatever. A little tapper to a nolly or no get a bird like to the regular hard flip 180. Oops, that was not very good looking. Push we'll harder. <clears throat> yeah, the Jimmy Thomas one. You have to whenever you bail on Luke of Faith, you get a challenge. Only when you fall. Wait, that was that's kind of tweaked though. That was kind of crazy. Yo, well, that's what to do. Rick McCrank stuck that nolly hard flip in real life. Rick McCrank was one of the first pros I've seen skate in real life. They did a, a girl demo back in like the early 2000s in Canada. And I saw Rick McCrank, Eric Costin, the, the first pro I've ever seen in my life. Just, dude, Rick McCrank was doing gaps I would I never thought would be possible. Just massive gaps at this little crappy little skate park. Change the stats to get earlier. Change the stats to get it earlier or flick the ollie harder to tweak it more. Oh, like make the board flip faster. Yo, LC, how's it going? What up, Liam? I'm gonna go to a different spot. Let's just kind of flow through here. Like this, this is the Skittles ledges, right? Like I'm going from like this one famous rail spot to like the ledges down to El Toro. I, I don't know the name of all these spots though. They're all in like Cali. I, I've never been there, so it's, I just came from video parts. I haven't really seen these spots in real life. But I'm sure like if you watch like the next Garrett video, I'm sure he's been to a lot of these spots. A lot of them. You saw him do a demo here in Portland back in 2005. Quick 180. I was gonna do 180. I missed the hard flips. Ah, I keep catching too early. Just a little bit too early. I think it's a press. Okay. Oh man, I'm like my brain's breaking trying to think of how to catch. Back three switch. Nope, not really. Over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so... There's a Toro. This, this rail's a different... <clears throat> what's this one called? It's like... Oh, excuse me. This one has a famous name to it. I forget the name of this one, though. Yes, what up, Cloud? My brain is tingling. Because my... Yeah. Because my... Yeah. Oh, look at this ledge. 
all the way around this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I keep like wanting to spawn and try a spot. Then I have to go spawn over here. Because this looks crazy. So go down this rail, hit that curve ledge there. Yeah, Merlands. Merlands? 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 We get it. Half cab flip over a school bench. All right. I need to change my camera. I need to like see it better. Hold on. Maybe, maybe more horizontal access on my camera. Hold on. Let's go front, just front board. And then I need to move the camera. Hold on. Camera on board horizontal offset. Decreasing the value removes horizontal offset while increasing the value adds. So add a couple. Did that add something? Oh, that's grind. Oh, that's grind. My bad. Camera right here. Wait, that's camera distance. There we go. Yo, Chris, what up, dude? School XL versus school session. Now we can finally compare. Uh, there is no comparison, honestly. <laughs> session wins the best map ever. Like, the, honestly, guys, this map, when I say it's like not just the best map in session or XL, this is like the one of the best maps I've ever seen in a skateboarding game. Like, skate one, two, and three. Tony Pro Skater. Like, the, this map takes the cake. It's up there with one of the best iconic maps of all time. I'll put like Pro Skater 1 Foundry up there with this map. Like just how iconic this map is. Waiting for the XL port. Yeah, I wonder if people get in trouble for doing that. I want to play in other games, but of course you got to pay for the DLC. You agree? Yeah, just like it's nice to pay homage to, to real spots and stuff and see them in real maps. It's always iconic, but like when you have a recreation like this, it's like like, this is like a nod to skateboarding, dude. Like, this is gonna last forever, this map. It's awesome, dude. Such a good job. Oh, the... Is it bumpy? Try no slide. Should I just try no slide? No, no grind. And then just go down that spot. Yo, if I can get this. Ooh, okay. No, okay, hold on. Hold on. Benji has made most spots. Yeah, Benji's made most of these spots. Um, yeah, pretty much every one of these spots have been recreated. Like, I've already I played El Toro map. I've played all these different maps. But having it combined into one is incredible. Like, the flow between these two different locations. Like, dude. You won a giveaway for Ubisoft's Twitch and won Skull and Bones? <laughs> you saved a hundred bucks. That map, that game looks alright. Like, I love pirate games. Yeah, I love Sea of Thieves, but it doesn't look like it has much on Sea of Thieves. But if I got it for free, I'd definitely play it. Front lit. Oh! Can I go through this, this thing? I made it. Just on my board. Advanced settings vid coming soon for this game, guys. You want to see my settings? Just to show you guys. I don't know if you can take a screenshot. Like, there's no numbers associated with these bars, but if you want to just have it as a record in the video, these are my settings today. Um, I don't think anything's crazy. Like, fast slip speed, fast scoop speeds, low pops. Um, that's pretty much it, just low pops. And then camera settings on board is right here and um what else do i have gameplay left foot right foot catch rotation manual board settings there's my truck tightness i'm not sure if there's anything i need to like disable or enable to make this game run better it seems like it's doing pretty good 
manual catch mode, board control, manual input speed, continuous mode is off. I don't know what that means. I guess that's like double flips. That's for auto catch though, yeah. Do gravity 15 to 16 in this game? Like, how do you tell what number it is? Oh, like, you just count the amount of things it goes over? The amount of ticks? Oh, I... I clicked my sticks to catch it. It's not Skater XO. But just keep in mind, if it was, I would have caught that. This is so hard to remember to flick the catch whenever I do it. Huh? You can't really grind this corner. Pens in the middle? Okay, so there's 20 points. You play on heavy gravity then? Like heavy than default? Only heal? Kick flip? I just don't want to keep this simple to land tricks. Oh wait, hold on. Spawn backwards. Front Smith. Like these are how do you front Smith? You have to like Ollie, press down and over. And I can also pop from Can I pocket how do I pocket pop? Like over here? Does it not work anymore? Like how do you pop from the side? There's the there's that one. How do I do this side? Oh. Damn. Yeah, really, it's hard to press that input properly. Yo, Killian, it's really good, man. This is the best DLC that I've ever bought, I think. <laughs> yeah, I bought a lot of DLCs. You know, I play Fortnite season one to six. Skate El Toro. Okay, let me try to get this one line. I'm, gonna... I'm addicted right now. Session better on X on console. I would say now, if you, if you own the school DLC, um, I mean, yeah, it, it is better on console. It's almost, it's like almost better in a lot of ways on PC too, though. Like this is incredible. Session has hands down the best map in, in skateboarding games ever right now. You definitely need to buy this for buy system just for this map. I hope they include it in like a pack though. Like uh, you buy the game, you just have it, like unlock. Skate the school DLC for Nintendo Switch. Oh, can you get it? Um, I think GL Nightmare's video said it's coming. I, I watched this video earlier, but I kind of watched it in, you know, in the side of my screen. I'm not sure if it's here yet. So. Oh, there's a stair set there. Um, it's 10 bucks in, in Canada. 10 bucks Canadian, so I think it's like 7 bucks American or something. 8 bucks. No, I'm not using auto catch. I'm using manual catch, and it's giving me a pain in the butt. Like, everything is so hard to do. What about back tails, like I did earlier? Yeah, I go back tail, then friend no slide. How do I get away from that? Isn't it horrible? It's the auto catch? Yeah, it's not easy. Oh! Oh, come on. I like how you can go so many ways with the stats, even though it's kind of stiff, makes a huge difference. Yeah, I wish the values had, were not just limited to like 20 points, because there's some things I could use a little bit more, like pump force could be cranked up even past the slider. But a lot of the stuff, I, I just use default stats mainly. Like I lower my, my pop's height, then I increase my flip speed a little bit, but that's really about it. Okay, I need to do some better tricks for you guys. Let's do some like burials and stuff. Yeah, it probably is just a matter of time before somebody ports this. I, I feel bad though because like I probably shouldn't. I don't know what I should do. Like, I want to play this map in all games, but it's probably not the best. Idea. That's why I don't like the DLC idea, because if you, you know, port it or make it a, a downloadable map for free in another game, uh, 
Um, that kind of goes against like their whole business model a little bit. So I mean, it's too bad. Give me some messy multiplayer. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that when they port this game to Unity or Unity, sorry, Unreal Engine Five, like the upgrade that they do, they definitely should look into multiplayer because like. I, I turn on pedestrians. I don't see any pedestrians on this map either, so it doesn't work here either. either. It came in... Maybe, maybe there is NPCs, but I don't see them. But if this was populated with people... Bro. It would be insane. It would be insane. Like, just people with backpacks on, walking around, people sitting down, security guards. Oh, they only work on city maps. Gotcha. I rate the DLC 1 out of 10. Um, honestly, a solid, a solid 11 or 12. It's up there. Maybe, maybe fix that. It could be a 13. But this map is crazy. I don't think there's any, there wasn't any, like, um, gameplay updates, though, that I know of. There's, like, some small tweaks. Yeah, I watched JL Nightmare's video. He said that there's some pushing animation changes, but nothing crazy. But I, I do think the major change would be the Unreal Engine 5 update. How do I do a faster shove it? Huh? What's that? Is that the same that are in Discord? Um, are these still in my Discord? I think I deleted them because I changed my settings recently. In my stat, my settings, my session stats, sorry, were um, were outdated, so I deleted the channel. I'm gonna add it back in. El Toro Boys. El Torino. There's moving cars over there. Over yonder. Yeah. Excited for the move to Unreal Engine 5? Yeah, they were planning to change the game engine. Yeah, Unreal Engine 5. So I, I don't know what that means. Like, with Skeeter XL, for example, when they changed the engine or upgraded Unity. That, that's exactly what breaks custom maps and custom gear. So I think that if they change the engine, it might break all the all the mods for this game. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal when this map is available. You don't really need other maps. <laughs> you just need one. One map to rule them all. It's crazy if they do another under five. Yo, learn what I do. Half of it. Only back one. Wow, just died. Unreal Engine 5 looks unreal. Oh! Dude, what? That was a weird tweak. <laughs> I need to, like, if I did a Nolly flip or Nolly heal, caught it like that, and brought it back to regular. Dude, can I do that? I gotta do it. Nolly heal, do that. Wait, how do you like? I'm gonna tweak it before I catch though. Oh my god, bro. Just the splat. Yo, Hugo, how's it going, how's it going man? Welcome from Canada. Where are you guys uh, tuning in from? Where are you guys from right now? Type 1 in the chat if you are playing the DLC or if you bought the DLC. Do you guys, do you guys own it? Type 2 if you're looking into it. One, if you've played it or gonna buy it. Two, if don't have it, but maybe or not interested. One, two, one, three. Three for. I feel like number three. Better than number one and two, hip three. A lot of ones. Portland, Oregon, Miami, Alberta. I'm asking so many questions. Type one and two plus the name of your city. So when I catch, I should let go of the sticks because it makes me tweak for me. Mexico, Brooklyn, that tweak will pull your foot up so it dips down. Ghosty, what a, did I miss what you said earlier? That tweak will pull your foot up so it dips down. Yeah. Like the Nolly thing? I'm gonna try it again. Wait, it didn't really work. Hold on. 
Hospita, Bordeaux, France, Sweden. Oh my god, man. Oh, there it was. That was the one. That was, that was the tweet. Gonna buy it next week. Puerto Rico? Hold on. We'll get this right here. Nolly flip. Bring it back. Flick a little slow for the for the, the flip, right? Okay, I'll try. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, I'll do it slower. Slow flip. I'm like cranking the flip. I'm cranking it. Didn't Session have an animation designer? Yeah, I think they just hired him though, so like he's not. His work isn't in the game yet, I don't think. Ever listened to Alex G? I don't think I know who that is. Maybe I. Sounds familiar. Is Skate 4 gonna be free to play? Yeah, it is. It is. It's kind of weird that's gonna be free to play. What do you guys think of it? There we go. Is that it? I think my camera is upside down, like the controls are inverted. I don't know if you can invert them. It's it's fine like this, but when I'm in the other mode, it's flipped. I didn't really tweak it. I'll close in my guess animation guy quits. I wonder if the new stuff that JL showed off, like the I, I guess now, like there's a slight animation change when you when you push the board this foot doesn't go into the board anymore so there's a few different animation changes i wonder if the new guy did that or whatever i don't know oh i gotta pop it earlier yeah you can invert the y-axis for a few things but not that thing Yeah, let's hit the handrail. Just back lips the handrail. Or just float over it. I like slowed down. I think this is like, if you don't like this map, um, I don't know what to say to you. Like this map is like the one map I think we can all agree on. <gasps> That is, this is map is insane. This did a sugar cane. Bro. What? The sounds are cool. How do I do that? That was, that was unintentional. Oh. My settings really quick? Yeah, I can show you guys my settings. If you don't know if you 180 and halfway press rotate again, you rotates the legs. If you 180 and halfway and press rotate, he only rotates the legs. 180 and halfway press ro My brain's gonna explode. I could tweak it like this. You mean like this, right? Like tweak like this? Or do you mean turn as well? Like... The opposite directions? Oh, hold on. That was crazy. Take the back lips. Yeah, buddy. Front side. Flick the catch. There we go. <laughs> I always forget to flick. I wonder if you can move the books. Or can you escape through them? Yeah, the books don't have anything, like, any, uh, collision. Alright, hard flip back lip. Going big boy status here. Oh my god. Any custom mouse paid DLC is bullshit? Yeah, it's... At least the, the quality, though, is crazy. Like, you know, we, we got free maps in Skater XL, which is nice, but... We get less of them. And they're not... Not that crazy, so I mean, I, I do appreciate a really high quality DLC. Like, you might say the water park in the mall is not worth it, I guess. But, like, this map is definitely worth it. Holy. 
Yo, back those man. Alright, let's go over here. You wish Skate 4 had session, session or XL controls? Yeah. When I was on the player count, so I told Skater... I told the EA, sorry, to add... Um... Dual stick, but they... They don't want to. It doesn't seem like... Snap to ground? How do I raise and lower it? Can I, like, can I do this still? <laughs> Let's go, boys! <laughs> Wait, let's find a spot. Yo, this is how you get around. <laughs> Yo, look at this roof gap. We're scoping. Damn. Oh no! <laughs> I fell. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. You gotta go slow. Dude, look at the Mario 64 um, looking mountains in the background. Okay. Where's the best roof gap? I think I'm gonna try this one right here, like kind of curve in. That's, there's a nice gap there too, I think. Yeah, like this one looks crazy. I don't know if that's gonna work though. It's kind of like the curve in. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's gonna. Wait, I can place down like ramps and stuff, right? I don't know if I can make that. You guys think I can? I can do that? How do you? How do you run? Run and place the board down. Wait, how do I place it down? Regular. Am I goofy? There we go. Oh god. <laughs> New glitch unlocked. I used to do that like years ago in this game. It's an uh, older glitch that we found. Okay, I can't make that. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. I need more push speed. Oh, but that one's way too far. Look at this rail. Alright, I'm gonna hit this whole rail. The whole rail backboard. Carl's bad, yeah, we were hitting that earlier. Okay, hold on. Backboard. Bird, back nose. Slut. Okay. Hold on. We'll get it. We'll get it. Pretty high of a rail though. There we go. The camera kind of goes behind me or beside me. I can see where I'm going. X Smith. <laughs> What's that? Dude, it's so high. <laughs> oh god. I do like the the bales in this game. Yeah, this might be above my pay level here at A grade. This is pretty, pretty beefy of a rail. Yeah, I can't really get up there. Oh, we got it. <clears throat> um, it would be cool if they added a setting into Skate just to change controls to be specific. Yeah, if they just added. Like, I know that they want you to do backflips and stuff in Skate, or in Skate 4, but, like, I would love it if you could just turn on the left stick to do more, realistic, like, dual stick tricks, and then just turn off, like, body flips and stuff. Like, just sacrifice a few settings, and then play with hardcore settings. I don't know. Like, they should just give you custom control. Like, let you map your own controls. Like, let you just map it. It'd be way better. Have, like, easy mode, hard... Easy mode, medium, hard mode, and, like, custom or something. Dude, I didn't pop out. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Okay, big Hollywood 16 set Sashi. Let's do the TJ. Didn't he, um, what did TJ do? Did Dolly back one? Did he do that? Or did he do the switch front one? I forget now. Session on 105 would be dope, but it doesn't prioritize graphics over gameplay. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's really much difference in like Unreal Engine 5 for gameplay stuff. I, I think the main the main benefit though, from switching over, is that you know people have left the studio and came and gone like came and gone in the studio, that creature. So I think if they port it to session, it'll give the new people an opportunity to take a look at like a more deeper into the code. I think I'm just kind of assuming, but like if they're gonna rebuild the game in, in a different engine, it'll help them understand what they're working with. I guess so when they get over to that that engine. It can probably do some animation stuff and make it work better. Speak it, but I think it's just a lack of um, just, it's just this game's been in development for such a long time, so many years that it's probably just you should post your settings on the Discord like, real quick. Code they can't really figure out. Post my settings in Discord. Um, uh, they're mainly just default. There's nothing really crazy going on, but I'll upload them later. But right now, I need to. Um, Oh, I don't want to upload right now. There's a lot of pictures. It's like 10 pictures, I think. If you want to get the best stats in this game, just copy somebody from like, um, that plays this game a lot. That's kind of what I do. I try to like look at a good TikToker or something. I try to make my stuff look like theirs. You guys ever see Peyton on TikTok or you watch like, um, even like who's he's like a pigeon thief? He's got like a, he's got stats. Pigeon thief. Nice speeds plays as well. They all different stats. Yeah, pigeon thief. Pigeon thief is really good. Look for for stats. Try um. Marlboro, thanks for the prime, dude. Your game looks so good. Thank you, man. It's just my. My computer too. I'm playing the game on a 1440p monitor, so you're seeing session. I've gone through the whole journey of Skater XL and session, mods and all. Yeah. Never thought it would be vanilla session that I'd be playing the most right now. Yeah. Need this map. I never. Honestly, I didn't expect this map to take over my um. Like my game. Like I don't know. I just I've been playing a lot of XL lately. I haven't played. I haven't played much session in months. But this this map will keep me keep me playing for like a few. That's a long time. If I want to play a skateboarding game now, I definitely consider opening session just to play this map. Before it was just XL because I want to play multiplayer, but now that there's this, like, you know, like, why not? Sure. Session looks crispy on your PC. Yeah, just PC in general runs this, like, any game really well. Higher frame rates, high resolutions. I think, like, the PS or the PS5 and stuff can run it at 1440p or 4K, I think, right? Let me try. Um, I'm gonna try to do it back. No, front side. Sugar or front side hurricane. Front side hurricane. That's kind of like a front Smith, I think. No, front feeble. But I got to turn my body with it, so it's like front feeble input 180. I think. I can't remember. A little bit too fast. Pick up from board. Trey front tail. Trey front tail. I don't think I've even seen him do that. I need to watch that clip. I saw a dude recently do Trey front lip on this rail first try. Like last week on Instagram. That's insane. Front first try. Just a random IG clip. Like, just 10 years ago, that clip would have got you cover a thrasher. No, it's just, just a hard post on IG. Hard flip front. Is that a... It's like a plane trail. That's cool. Wait, is it actually making that? 
Is there planes in this game? <laughs> Cam trail. <laughs> Cam trail. Do Hickflip FS1 for Felipe Moda. Alright, Hickflip from Blunt. Oh, I gotta like go in more angled and slow. Going a little bit too fast. I need like. I need better pushes. Ah, that was close. Ooh. Was blunt. Okay. <laughs> Damn, hard flip front board. Yeah, I keep hucking. 270 live. Whoa, that was buggy. What? I went through the rail. I have 400 hours in Skeeter XL and I really want to uh, keep giving us content, but you know, yeah, want Skeeter XL too? Yeah. Um, they, they're still, Skeeter XL, they're still working on their stuff, but they have a different business model, you know? So like their stuff isn't paid DLC, so they take their time and just release, it seems like smaller things. Like Skeeter XL does a lot of gameplay changes though, which is kind of cool to see. I wish uh, Session had more changes like that. But the maps, the DLC business model for the maps is crazy. Just you get, you get more content from, from this creature, you get better, better quality stuff. You get more, more communication. <laughs> Alright, 270 lit. Guys, again. I don't know why I can't do that. Yeah, you're always gonna have people that like want one game or the other, other like people that prefer one or the other. Everybody has their own preferences, right? I think it's kind of funny though, because like Skate Rex on Session, they're almost split down the middle. If you look at this, like the numbers on Steam, um, the player count for both games is almost directly even. So like the the overall just hardcore skateboarding gaming community is split in half between the two of them. I say on console though, it definitely leans more towards Session. But you know, with PC, there's mods both games more so for XL but it's over here oh man I'm so bad at the game right now I'm so bad yeah the pushing is not the best looking the, the bailing is pretty funny though like the, like the, like the rag dolls are so sick just Take the nose grand, no slide. Dude, I'm so bad. Bro. Tried casual grind setting. It more, looks more like XL. Casual grind setting. Gameplay, grind settings. I have my alignment turned up all the way. Is that what you mean? Relative input. What's this? When... I think I like this turned off. Yeah, I don't want that turned on. Ca yeah, ca casual modes turned on too, yeah. Wait, what's that mean? Gameplay grinds, it's casual mode. If you feel Picnic grinds are too unforgiving. Can I turn it off for now? Let me try that. Give casual on. Feels fine without it. Just go back tail. Yeah, it's fine without it. Oh man, that was nice. Seems like the animation progress coming along with new updates in Orange 5. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder how long that will take. It's a pretty big thing to do. Switch the game engine over completely. And also, like, I mean, I've been playing this map all day at like 2 p.m. They can change the lighting to any time of day, like nighttime. I wonder if, like, hold on. Is there lights on the map, you think?
That's pretty crazy looking. There is. Looks pretty good. I kind of like the daytime to see better. This is... Oh, this is sick at nighttime. Wait, this route I've never even seen yet. This one, there's a, this route was famous as fuck, though. This is like the rail of people like Crook, Front Crook. Your session gameplay looks like it sound, but better. Does it? I think Shino Neil like, Crook flipped out of this. Crook Nolly flip, I think. Turn that off. Gameplay. Day and night. Let's go back to like... I think like 2 p.m. is pretty good time. 2 p.m. What oh, was it, Nija? I think they both done it. Like, flip out of this grind. Wow. Antoine Dixon, Nolly back, board slide shove. It's like a trick. Nolly back, board shove. Try casual grants so anything gets more like XL. No, no worries, Sai. I appreciate the, the tips. I, I turned the casual grants off for now just to see how it feels. If I don't like it, I'll turn it back on. I can't get this crook, I'll switch it back on maybe. Or maybe I should do that right now. I don't know. Will this be a hard time? Gameplay, grinds. Let's turn it on for now. It's your first stream? Welcome in, man. We're just chilling, playing the new DLC, checking it out. I get a clip on this rail if I can. Back to Smith. I don't know how I can go through the kink without doing that. A little bump. Any new vids? Yeah, I think a video will be coming tomorrow. I might make a video tomorrow on the session DLC. I might. I'm not sure if I want to just check the map out and just play the game or if I want to hop into VR and make a VR video on this map and look around or both or what. But I think a new map video should be coming tomorrow. Into the VR thing. Like look around in VR, look at El Toro in VR. Ooh. Yo, Gray, how's it going, man? Is this for VR? No, there's like a mod somebody created recently. You can um, take any Unreal Engine 4 game and just turn it into VR. So any Unreal Engine 4 game, which is uh, this game right here, you can just turn this um, VR mod on and just hop into the map and just look through the player's eyeballs. There's no motion, like there's no controls for like your hands and stuff. It's just like controller only though. I want to go over that. As big as the map, it's pretty damn big. I can look around a little bit, a little bit more in a second. Go over here. Go back to the El or not El Toro. The um. Oh, look at this spot. This is cool. Hit the bank and hop off. Um. Yeah, El not El Toro. Sorry. Uh, Leap of faith. This one. Leap of faith. Does Leap of faith have a rail? Never knew it had one. Like in the middle? Driving in VR makes you sick after 30 minutes. Could imagine skating. Yeah, it's pretty rough when you're just sitting down and you're like moving like crazy. The, the hard part is you have to, like you can't do 180s in, with the VR mod because the camera is just like looking straight. So when you 180, you're still looking straight. Weird. back Muslim. As good as EZ High School, this map, I was saying it earlier, I don't know if you just tuned in, but I think this map is like top three maps I've ever seen in a skateboarding game. So like, this map is like probably one of the best maps I've ever seen in a, in a game like ever, skateboarding. Not just Session and Excel, but like Tony Apple Skater and Skate. The other guard 
had slipped off one into a full split. Funny as hell, but not cool. The hell? It's got like intercom of like security guards, got like the birds flying over my head. I think somebody will port it over, yeah. Damn. Trey flipped the ass nothing. Trey back there nothing. Damn. Flip for Reynolds, for Andrew, the boss. Oh my God! Hold on. Is there more room to, to run up? No. That's not a good run up. Hold on. Like that. Session Xbox One not really worth playing on my old console. In your opinion? It's like PS One game on Xbox One. But this does. I think it looks better on like the newer gen stuff. But yeah, it's pretty bad. Like playing on older consoles. Even the Switch too. Like it's on the newer. I guess the Switch is like seven years old. But it's just like we need a new generation of consoles to come out. We're in, like the, we're in like this phase where we have like really powerful consoles and computers, but we also have old like PS1s and PS4s and Switches we have to make these games run on. Yeah, like we're, being, we're being held down a little bit by these games, for those consoles. We need a new gen that's like powerful that everybody has to just make the games run better. I heard talk of Microsoft making the biggest leap yet in console technology. Yeah, I, I heard that they're... Um, I think the next generation of consoles will just be glorified computers like they're, they're getting rid of exclusives they're pushing more of the game pass kind of stuff if you you know buy a game on xbox they'll just have it on your pc mostly so i think like we're moving towards the direction where you're gonna have like a, you know a pc that you plug into your your tv and maybe you can play cross play with pc players or ps4 players That's what they should do Switch one, Leap of Faith. Switch one. Oh yeah, you spawn Switch by double tapping, I think. Oh no. For some reason, Switch feels better for me to play. Ooh. Switch, backside flip. I need to get a slow flip though. Oh, that was a nice slow flip. Oh, I need to catch it though. I need to like wait for the board to come around and catch it. Keep like tweaking it out early. I'm so used to tweaking my board out in other games that I catch the board too early. Yo, what up, dude? I get far better frame rates playing on Xbox than your computer. Yeah, like we're still in this phase too, where we have like older computers that aren't as like. There's some computers that are less powerful than like the Xbox Series X's and PS5s. Honestly, those consoles are really powerful. Morphex, what up, dude? What's happening, dude? Good to see you. I feel like Microsoft says that every generation, like the, yeah, they try to like hype up their system. I think like the PlayStation is more dominant this, this generation. Like not many, not many people have a Xbox really, I don't think, compared to PlayStation. I'm gonna go over here. This is a good spot. Trying to run that. Maybe we'll hit the stair set first. 
hit these two stair steps to go around the corner. Yeah, try that. Playing on those cloud, oh, cloud games, yeah. Cloud uh, game is kind of yeah. I think that's like kind of gonna come up eventually, like where you just will have a cloud like cloud subscription, and you just play games through the cloud, and that becomes a thing. I can't see there ever being a time where there's no input lag though, but that would be pretty cool if it worked. Don't have, don't buy a computer or console ever. Just buy a subscription. Play games with the controller. There's no sound there. That was weird. Heel flip on board? Ah. Try here, please, to release, rotate, and press 180 at 90 degrees. Please do release to rotate. I don't know what you mean. What's what's a release to rotate? Rotate button? Like the the trigger? Right trigger, left trigger? What do you mean? Release and press again. Oh. Like that? Is that what a... Is that what you mean? That's crazy. That feels... Hold on. To land... See, if you press it again, you can revert. Like that. That's kind of sick. I get what you mean now. That's hard to do with a kickflip, though. Holy. I <laughs> tried to do the kickflip, catch it, and revert. That's so hard. Holy. Oh, man. Can't wrap my head around that one. I tried to do those blunt. Didn't work. Ooh. Bring the camera around. Missed the back crook. Nolly back board or... Yeah. <laughs> that. I want to hop through this. I probably can't make that, though. It's just way too high. Oh, man. Like, in the air, he only rotates his legs fast. It's kind of like a slow 180. Yeah, there's different ways to tweak the board. I think it's slower, it seems. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Ah. Let's do, like, a manual combo, maybe. Those manual, only flips. Try to nose blend, didn't quite get the angle there. Back crook. Nolly front board. That was decent. Ooh. Man, I'm like just clearing these things. Hard flip back tail, try that one. It's weird, like, like when I do hard flip or varial tricks, I guess I can do it. I have to like wait for my board to tweak. Or I, oh, I guess I should turn my body with my triggers to do that. Doo -doo. Back crook again. Front smith. What was the trick you recommended? Hard flip back tail. I'll try that. What do we do right here? Oh, back a lip. Ooh. This would be a good rail to do like double grinds on. Oh, I got... Watch this. Watch this. I got it. I got this. I just remember how to double grind. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Back lip. Crook back lip. Ah, hold on. We got this. You just like, you pop forward, right? 
you just press forward again on the. Oh! I didn't press the input. Wait, why can't I pop straight forward? It's going like a little bit to the right. Is that cool? That was pretty sick. It felt crazy. Switch back lit. I press the wrong direction. Can I press? Nope. We have to press this way. Yeah, it's backwards from Skid Rift, though. Heart flip back lip looks sick. Yeah, that was sick. It'd be dope to do a back lip. Then how do you... How would I tweak it to go to, like, a smith? Like, back lip and tweak to go to smith without, without popping? Like, maybe lower my grind... My grind pop force or something? <laughs> you ever been high you've ever been high and then we think the past and get sad yeah that's how your name's future though right you gotta look forward in the future man forget the past how about the future cons what up man what's happening how's it going <gasps> Ooh. why is there a feather following me yo that was so good Ah, uh, wrong direction on that. You caught it, though. That's some nice tray flips, eh? Look at these trays. Those are beautiful looking. Clean. Okay. Back smithers. Or... Yeah, back smith. Kick flip out. Uh, I need to go on this side, I think, to lock it. I need to, like, look at the, the rail. Oh, we're, I can't even see where I was going. People back Smith, Monka Eyes. I'm trying to figure out these double grands. Yeah, if I can get that to work, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I need to do a better one though. Like a back, just back crook to back lift we were trying earlier. Back crook, Make back it lift. moist. Make it moist. Ew. That was weird. I'm a crook addict. All I do is crooks. Okay. Backsmith. Ah, it's, it's so weird to press the, the input first. I have to press down and then right. I think. Oh! Wow. No. Change the time to 7 a.m. Um, I don't like the, like the, yeah, I'll change the time. Wait, why is it French? Oh. En français. To what time? 7 a.m.? I don't like the orangeness of the morning time. You guys smell me? I like the, like, the blue of afternoon. I wish like you can change the day, but you can also, I wish you can also change like the temperature of like the, the, the look, like, the tint maybe. Sai, thanks for the subscription, man. Sesh before class? Yeah, I need a backpack to clean, complete the package. Um, let me, let me turn it back. I don't like the, the colors right here. Oh wait, cloud coverage on. What about that? Wait. Simulate clouds? Is that more realistic? How they move? Oh, there's a cloud forming. I think. I don't know what that really is. R2 D. R2 D2 <laughs> says do a big spin front board slide. Okay, then the final staircase rail. We'll try that. Final boss. Ooh. 
This line's fire. What's the trick again? Explain from board. Here we go. What? How do I catch it? How do I catch it early? I just gotta immediately catch it. Okay. Like right away. The figgy. X Smith. Hey, flip. Uh, I if I get that one. It's back tail. Nope. Restart it over. The pinkish sunset. Yeah, like an evening type vibe. Like, isn't in real life, like, isn't blue a more of a morning color? Do a lily grind down that rail, lol. Like, shouldn't the morning be more cooler and then the, the evening should be more more red? Or is that, like, the backwards? Will they grind down the rail? How do, I, how do I willy purposely like this? Oh, I don't know the inputs. Like, backwards? I've heard stories of the skateboarding Jedi. That's where you, where you live, does it? I thought everybody lived in Canada. Don't we all live in the US? Oh man. A filter. Um, I don't know. I'll show you guys what I got. Got the everyday Mr. Green filter. I don't know if it's worth using or good, but I have the intensity up a little bit too. Oh yeah, that's kind of making my game a little bit more green, eh? I do like the kind of like the clean look. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is like, I don't know. Has just got the wet filter. Looks saturated. The wet filter. <laughs> oh, these clouds. It's just like high school when I was vaping. But the, but the clouds go though, they just disappear on me. Backsmith, kick up out. Uh, we'll try it next try. Trave up the bank, then big spin board. Ah, that's a really hard trick to do. Oh, Cassie, I, what you mean by the slow 180s though? I have to press. Like up and down my sticks and then turn. Clouds spawned. You gonna check it out? Yeah, if you guys um definitely look into the map, guys, for the DLC. It's worth it. I definitely rate it. Uh, ten out of ten. This. I don't think there's a, anybody here that that's not happy with this map. Like the abandoned mall, maybe. The water park, maybe. This map? No, this map is worth it. Like, if you're looking to buy a DLC, this is the one to go for. Star Wars. The force is wrong with this one. It's not, it's not May 4th yet. Best dev made map ever. Um, I think, like, this is gonna, like, this has gotta be one of the best maps I've ever seen in a skateboard Straight game. up 10 out of 10. Your peace, LC. It's gotta be one of the best ever. Like what's the what's the best maps ever in a skateboarding game, guys? Like name them. Like, I mean, the uh, the university in Skate Three, uh, it's a good one. Like the downtown and skate skate games and stuff is used pretty good. They're kind of outdated though, right? The Foundry and Pro Skater One, iconic. Not very good to skate, but it's very iconic, you know. Dude, who made this map as a junior editor? No way. They better pay him some senior wages. <laughs> yeah, Venice. Yep, Venice Beach for sure. For sure. Yep. That one's like, and that's a recreation, right? Like anything that you have a perfect recreation of a real spot, like those are a classic maps so that'll live forever. Venice Beach, Pro Skater. I think like Pro Skater had Schoolyard too, which had some recreations, but this, this game has the best recreations I've ever seen. Art gallery, yeah, art gallery is good. Oh, like Ghetto Spot, that's a that's a good spot. Like Ghetto Spot from Skate, Skate One, or Skate Two. I can't really remember anymore. 
You know what's crazy? I was thinking about this recently. Like, I think... I, I, I'm, not, I'm not certain on this, but I think, like, Skate 4 isn't going to have Ghetto Birds, like, as a trick name because of the word ghetto. But they had Ghetto Spot. So I, I don't understand like, why they would do that. Crook back to lit. Ah, I almost had it there. I really want to kick with the like, backsmith, kick about. Backsmith, kick about. Oh man. You know if it's going to stay that way? <laughs> Big ramp, number one. Is, can you play session this this map or this game with uh, big ramp from Skater XL? That'd be sick. <laughs> what up, Crossy? I'm good, doing good, man. How you doing? Good to see you, man. I like your all your clips, dude. I just re like re recognize your name too. I see your name all the time. You're always my recommended on my YouTube page. Get the the cleanest lines. Honestly, if you guys want some good, I'm not sure if you have stats posted, Crossy, but. If you want some good stats for this game, looking at uh, across these clips on, on, on YouTube, it's kind of like what I got set up with. Just kind of copying the camera, kind of making sure my pop looks the same as him. <laughs> you see them? Yeah, dude, of course. I like all of them. I think that's probably why I see them. I like everything that you post. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if it's unsubscribed or what, but I think I, I, I am. Maybe I'm not. I need to do the... Thanks for the follows, guys. Bad Wolf, Reeves, thanks for the follows. Appreciate it. The flamingo. The flamingo is a common try on pop. And you can use try a pop shove it, but flick left stick slightly slowly, and you can make them more or less tweak that way. Okay. Oh, you're right. I think you're right. Just. So I can I can catch with my Okay. So I can style my tricks a little bit with how I catch with what stick it seems. Like I can press one stick, like the front one, I can press the back stick, I can press both sticks. I don't know what the difference is for animations. Leap of Faith. Um Yes, it's actually right next to me. Leap of Faith. This is um like almost every spot you're looking at is like different locations in California just mixed into one. Like you're looking at like this is a real spot. That's a real spot over there. That staircase. This is a real spot, but they're all in different locations. You can hit this spot down to leap, leap of faith right here. This is the Jimmy Thomas leap of faith where that rollerblader almost died. It's man, like the recreation is perfect. Let me get, get a clip of this. Let me get a clip here. But just the fact that you can go from this to Leap of Faith is like just crazy to me. Just back to back. You reach Platinum and Slash Shot? Dude, that's so sick. That's a good game to play. I'm, um. I'm just like 50 points below Legend right now for this season. I was Legend last season, 2100 rating, or 2150. But now I'm Platinum 3, trying to get back to Legend. I haven't played the game in over a week, though. Let me do, um... Just a big kickflip, maybe. A slow kickflip. Doesn't get too fast. People from California definitely have a mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Garrett. I, I want to watch Garrett, Garrett Jenner's video on this map, because he skated a lot of these spots. But he, what he should do is recreate a bunch of clips, like just make a video where he skates in real life and recreates the trick in, in the game. That'd be insane. Yo, loves, what's going on, dude? Yeah, yeah, legendary spots is definitely the way to go. I wonder, like, how much is involved with that? Like, if they have to go to this, like, how did they do this? Did they use Google Images or Google Earth? 
or do they go to the spot and get permission to get them like do you have to have permission to to copy spots i don't know how that works in other words there's what the fuck is up with california and all the outdoor schools how does anyone learn <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, why is every school in Cali a skate park? <laughs> and, and why are they all in pro skater games? Um, field of view. I should have made him go... Hold on, I messed that one up. How do I fix this to go back further? There. Yo, person on the skateboard, if you're gonna continue to skate here, can you at least try to do something cool, please? Bro, he just dissed me. Make TTS 1K? Why? Make TTS 1K. Is it too cheap right now? Nobody really uses it. If, if it was you know, being abused, I would change it. But it's like really cheap, isn't it? Isn't it like 100 points? Um, field of view. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to zoom in on that. Trust the process, boys. I think 100 is super expensive for two tests. So, uh, <laughs> Alright, make it to 1k now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Expensive? I think it's the cheapest I can make. I, I do like. Of faith is all spinal. All spinal? What does that mean? Play ray, camera shake, field of view. Got that already. Depth of. Wait, don't, I don't have depth of the view yet, do I? What did I just make? Oh yeah, okay, so I add this. Let's play it through. Make this go more. I'm a noob. <laughs> I'm a big noob, I don't know what I'm doing. And then, whatever. Okay, we'll, fi we'll fix this in a second. I'm so bad. It's raining humans. It's hard to film. Camera. I need to put this up there like that. Boom. And then fix this keyframe, apparently. I know it's blurry, guys. I'll fix it. Field of view, or the field. Look at that crispiness. Boom. Look at that bounce. You know what the, the intercom speaker reminds me of in this game now? Like when he makes an announcement? It sounds like the walking mod in XL. Come on, let's move. Come on, let's move. What's, what's that from? Is that like a, a movie clip? Hit it? Or audio? Oh my god, I'm so bad at filming right now. I don't know what I'm doing. The camera. Oh, is it Donovan doing that? Come on, let's move. I need to I need to work on my filming. I think tomorrow I'll make a video on this map and I want to uh, film clips and hopefully see some progression and make an edit and make my um, skills a little bit better. Gotta work on that. Let's go back to this spot. I'm gonna do this, um, this line still. I didn't get the big spin board slide yet. The board bounce is so bad. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Does anybody here know why the bounce happens? Is that manual catch? Is that um, just high drops? How do I... I think...
think I heard the bounce is because I'm, I'm holding the input too long, maybe? Like, if I catch the board earlier and let go of the sticks, it should not bounce, maybe? Just the game glitch. Bro, I'm a pro. See that? Ooh! My headphones got unplugged. It's their special physics system that won't allow multiplayer. It's an engine problem, but you can 50-50 input before landing to level out. Okay, that's what I've been doing. Like, do you 50-50 input before you hit the ground and then like, you let it go? Or do you hold the 50-50 input as you hit the ground? That's what I'm kind of confused about. I guess as you hit, you just hold it. Before, be so you let it go. Okay, so that you, what you're doing is you're leveling the Bordo in the air, and then you let the, the game handle the, the landing, right? Makes sense. That's pretty good. So for most tricks, you think I should press up and down on both? Oh my god, that's amazing. Back Smith kicked the boat. I'm pretty sure there, there's a few spots that they posted on their Instagram that I haven't even seen yet. Like, isn't there... Isn't there like a, a, a rail or a, um, a staircase here that's like almost El Toro big, but it's like the rail is massive. I can't remember the name of the, the spawn real life. It's like a huge, huge staircase. I swear they posted a picture of it, but I haven't seen it yet. I know it's not a very good description. Massive staircase. There's a lot of those. Quite a few massive staircases here. Let's try a back tail. I'm gonna do a back tail, pop, back tail. See if that works. Ooh, that was kind of sick. I didn't mean to do that though. Uh, oh, my bad. I think my, my nightbot might be broken. I'm not sure if that command works anymore. I'll have to flick into that. It's kind of butter. I need to remember to fuck it out. Peace, Crossy. If you're still streaming when I'm back, made, just made my year. Thank you for watching my content. I was just, just going to say, man, I'm hyped to see um, whatever lines you post in this map. I'll be waiting. She, she, she licked me like a lollipop. Yeah, she, she licked me like a lollipop. Lollipop, yeah, SHS. She licked me like a lollipop. Lollipop, yeah, she, she licked me like a lollipop. Shitty want a fuck bottles in the plug. Shorty wanna pump you now. I like to touch your lovely lady lumps. She licked me. Nice. I, I think, is there a little Wayne voice? Or was that Fergie? <laughs> I thought, I'm not sure that little Wayne or Fergie. I was get those two confused. Fergie, Lil Wayne, I don't know. I can't really tell the difference. Pick flip back Smith. Oh, we just plop down. Channel fought for one month. Okay, so the command does work, but my nightbot command is broken. I got two different bots fighting over each other there. I don't know why. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Didn't look pretty good at all. Take it. Overcrook. That was a dope trick, actually. Do Overcrook to, like, from lip or back to lip. Oh, man, hold on. Look at that. Like, overcrook to front board. I guess it would be back lip, though, because you're going over. Ooh, that was fire. Ah, my god, man. I can't get this line. I want to do the big spin front board at the end of it. Ah, it's hard to do properly. 
We're going switch, boys. Switch. Should I try s switch? Big spin from board. <sighs> oh, got a better one. Dude, I did a big spin. Uh, wait, switch big spin Benegrin. <laughs> what? Ooh, I kind of dipped it too far. I didn't mean to do the dip. Accidental dip. Smith? Uh, I think it's 50, it's fine. I uh, guess not. You see Pigeon Thief to do a no slide to pop to crook, but I can't get the hang of it. No slide pop to crook. I'll try that. It's probably... I like the, the those grinds that are very small, like the micro adjustments. Oh, it's definitely possible. I think that's a good trick to do that with. Just gotta pop it earlier. But I think my grind pop is a little bit too high, maybe. So you just like, you would just crook or no slide, I guess. You just hold the input and then you would let go of it, press forward and then pop and then you can crook again. That's how you pop forward. Uh, I almost had it there. Almost had it. Oh my god, I just... The last second I turned in too much, I just knew right away I was gonna, gonna do that. The clouds look sick that they're simulated now. I had clear skies earlier, but I think I like the clouds more. Oh, that was beautiful. Dude, what? Not my fault. Some grinds just don't work. Lower your grind pop, but yeah, I might do the same. I'll try that, that trick you're trying though. Like I think it's it's right there, which is not not easy to lock it in. Oh, I got one. I, it's just got to do it earlier. I tried to back tail. That'd be so sick, man. Like shove it back tail. Oh my god. It's hard to do properly. I didn't lock it in very well. Kick flip nose. Go ah. back feeble. I haven't tried this yet. It's a hard trick for me usually. Oh man, that's why. Just hard to line it up. It's over the rail floor usually. I don't know. There we go. Oh, I should have popped it out like far side, maybe. Wait, why did it angle up? Didn't press forward enough. Hold on, we got this. I don't know how to pop it out. Like what stick I pressed? My front stick? That was beautiful. Actually beautiful. All right, big spin front board. Here it is. I'm... <laughs> it's coming. Yo, Kylie, thanks for the follow, man. It's coming. We're gonna do the big, front, big spin front board, finally. Get to work. We'll do some, some big spin front blunt slides. They were getting better though. I could barely do a flip trick when I first started playing today, but now I'm actually landing tricks. 
just kind of awkwardly landing them. Alright. 180. Oh, switch around. Kick from boards. Or double flip, okay. Take that. Take that. These benches. Back nose blunt, or I guess like. Nah, uh, it's gonna go for the far side. Your vids on modding Skidrick still help me a bunch. Thank you. No problem, man. You guys should see my website. I'm gonna show you guys this really quick. I mean, I'll, I'll probably add session stuff eventually to this, but you gotta see, guys, like what I've been working on to make XL modding just better. Hold on. Let me open up. Um... Look at this. This is the website now. Look how beautiful it is. So, like, I made it reactive. So, like, it, it looks nice on wide screens like this. When it goes smaller, boom. Get the mobile mode. So, when you're looking at this on a, on a cell phone, you got a fully functional mobile version. So that's the cell phone version. It's the full working website. And then go bigger. Look at that. Got double scroll bar. Got the mods on the left, main on the right. You can switch this little thing over to different versions of the game. Um, one thing that I added though, it's really cool. I added login. So I had authentication. This is, I have, I have a full working backend now. So you can authenticate and log in. And eventually you'll be able to post stuff and delete stuff. But we also have this stat page. And I can log out. You don't need to be logged in for the stat page. But this is, is the bread and butter. You can, you can be anonymous and you can upload full entire stat packs to this now. So I made it so you can upload zips. So I can, for example, type in Milky, uh, select my stance for my package. There's Goofy, regular, and if it works for both, you could type in Goofy and regular, but I'm regular. So I'll type in that description, um, new stats, 15 gravity. I don't know. Just type in some whatever gravity, whatever description add add what the what they are you have to actually you have to include everything so you can't move on until you actually fill all the fields out you need to pick one of these so there's xxl mod tag fro mod tag bonoli mod tag you add the tags you go to choose file and then you look for a zip file so i guess i guess mine i have some on my desktop there's some zip files froggy pack put your zip file in there upload it it gets file saved and there's your zip look at this Froggy pack milky, froggy pack milky, sharky pack, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a date that you uploaded it. There's my name. There's the description. There's the tags of what is it's, in, it's including. Uh, the stance is regular, so it'll sh show you what the stance is, wherever you set it to. And you can download it. And it, it downloaded right to my desk, to my thing. So now you can literally go to this page. You can go here right now and upload your own stats, and it'll show up. But um, I'm still working on that feature. But eventually, you're going to be able to log in, edit your own posts, and delete them. So you can you can log in, um, and then, yeah. You, you don't need to log in to do this, though, right now. But you can't delete your stuff yet until I do that. But uh, this can be really, really sick. I'm going to make this looking better. I'm also going to have um, downloads. So it's going to track your download numbers when you're logged in. So it'll be you can rank them from recently added to oldest you can um, rank them from most downloaded to least downloaded so you'll you'll literally i'm trying to create a page where people can upload their stats and we'll have a definitive best stats in the, in the entire game because you'll see the download numbers like the same way they see with with maps and mods on mod io you can have a huge database of all your people settings from the community on pc and have them ranked and have people reply to them and comment on them and give them ratings like five stars like just think of all the stuff you can do and i could, I could do the same thing with session upload stats in a like a database of like session stats and stuff although those would be pictures instead of xml files but yeah we could do something like that you build apps like this professionally for 15 bucks if you ever need help yeah yeah i'm um, I'm, I'm learning a lot. I mean, it took a lot to learn, but um, I like the process. I've been um, working with, with SvelteKit, if you, guys, if you know that, the framework, Java, or JavaScript framework SvelteKit. I like React. 
Um, and I use stupid base for the back end. So a V, a v super, a spell kit project with a super base back end. It's really cool. Yeah, I love I love Svelte because like it just I came from vanilla JavaScript and I've been learning you know a lot of CSS and HTML recently and it, it feels like when I'm typing out Svelte it feels like vanilla JavaScript. I'm not a big fan of I, I do like React because it's well documented and stuff but there's um, a little bit more syntax I like I like really short syntax so like Vue JS or Svelte, Svelte Kit. I also use Tailwind too so I got. Uh, Svelte kit and Tailwind styling, the very short syntax. But yeah, that's that's what I'm working on recently. Yo, what a brother! Using Vue most of the time. It's really the same thing. Yeah, Vue. I find Vue and Svelte kit is very similar. I think Vue has a little bit more documentation than Svelte kit. It's a little bit um, more mature. I think it's got more like international people that use it. I made it a, a messenger app in Vue, like a React, like a real time iMessage type application in, in Vue. All right, new spot. Let's go over here, switch it up. React is king though, 90%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, I might use React for a few things. I might even try eventually one day to take the entire website and put it on, just put it onto React or put it onto like Next.js or, or Nuxt and just try to use a different framework and build it from scratch again. Because I have all the data and stuff. I, I just switch it over easily, but. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to do that and just see how they would act different, like what, what kind of work. Diva mode, pop straight out by flicking. You have that mode on where you pop straight out by flicking down instead of opposite direction. No, I don't use, is that a setting? I just do the thing where I, I take my finger off the input and then I press forward or sideways and it tells me what direction I pop to. Ooh. Okay, I need to look, go spot. Let's go for looking looking for, for the spots. I think there's like a rail I'm missing though. There's like a staircase I've seen in their trailer that I haven't found. I haven't really skated this yet. This rail runs me of Rodney Mullen. Like the first time I've ever seen this rail was after you beat uh, Pro Skater and you get the secret video of the pros, like Rodney Mullen just like, like just tore this rail up. Yeah, like just destroyed it. <sighs> after putting the bone all settings into the correct pathway, how do I activate them in game? If you put your like the bone Ollie settings folder in what that's doing is it just applies to your game automatically so if you like load the mod up you'll look at the settings for certain tricks and they're all to be turned on but the the problem is with those kinds of settings is you have to go through the mod and find them so if you have my stats like look at the the high ollies or the switch high ollies they might have some bone settings there or even the kick flips and the heel flips Um, you can you can also do too if you if you know how to read code you can open up the XML the XML file and look at the the stats in there to find which which is activated but that's kind of a lot of work to do. But yeah, the bone volume mod it's kind of hard to know what is working and what isn't working without going through the whole thing. Ah, where does this go? Custom spot. Jump out here, hit this like ledge. 
That's crazy. Oh, that was beautiful. Damn. Yo, Marky, how's it going, man? Three in the morning here, so we can get some sleep. All right, dude. Thanks for chilling, man. I'll see you next time. I, I'm kind of in a like, weird time zone right now, like streaming later, but I'll be live. I might go live tomorrow, guys. I'll play some more session, honestly, because I'm just having fun. But I want to make a video, too, because I, I need to post a video. Should I do a VR video tomorrow? Just look at, look at the spots in real life. Like, I think that's a good video. Like, use the Unreal Engine VR mod. I'll, I'll skate like this, have like gameplay clips, and then I'll just like turn on my VR mod and look around the spots in my headset and see how big they are. I'll do like a crossover video of both. I just need to find a way to record the VR footage to be not jittery because my last video was very jittery, hard to watch. It'd be a second multiplayer, yeah. Like, oh man. Yeah, it'd be insane this map of multiplayer. Like, although, like, you know, Skater XL is cool with their, their 10 player lobbies, and you could do bigger lobbies on PC, but just imagine. Uh, did any skater lose a hat with a little propeller on the top? <laughs> just um, imagine um, a map with like 100 skaters, so like 50 skaters. Like, I guess like Skate 4 is going to be that game, but like this map's packed full of people online. MMO. What up, Keller? You broke your hand on the weekend. You can't play XL, dude. You got a, a game injury, a video game injury. That's the worst. <sighs> I hope you get healed up quick, man. I, I broke my finger last year, my middle finger. And you don't even use your middle finger for gaming, but it definitely made my grip really bad. I couldn't play games. It's funny enough. I usually like you injure yourself outside. You can't go outside because you're hurt, but I my finger outside and I couldn't play games. So I was forced to go outside. I was forced to skate. I wonder if I can grind the entire leap of faith, like the, the rail on the side. Try it. Backwards. Ooh, there's a oh, there's a lip there. It kind of dips down. Back over crook. Just in general for Malto. We're gonna do leap, do leap, leap of faith back crook. That's kind of insane. Like hop right here, back crook, and pop over the far side. Let's do it. Um. Oh, right here, this rail. This is perfect. It's like cut off too. We're back over crook. It's like cut at the bottom. Yeah. That little knob right actually might kind of mess me up a little bit. A lot of mouse click only games. Mouse click only games. Yeah. Love the new videos you're putting out. Thanks, man. I haven't put out many, but I really appreciate you guys liking them. I'm going to make a really chill video tomorrow. Just uh, it might be a longer video, like half an hour even. Just chill, talking. I feel like with this map or this DLC, I have a lot to talk about. How good it is. Hold on, we're gonna. The pocket pop is kind of hard to do. I'm gonna do that, then overcrook. Back overcrook. Um, the game is slightly modded. There's no physics mods or anything like that, but I have modded clothing. My uh, my shoes, my grip tape, my, my shorts, and my shirt, and my hat, too, is all modded. So the, even the socks, too, actually are modded as well. So just the whole outfit is modded. But um, that's about it. I got these from Spee's Discord, too. <laughs> you guys are familiar with Spee. He makes a lot of gear for the XLGM mod for Excuter XL that I wear. So if you want some custom gear for a session, Going, going back to the speech Discord is the place to go.
But I think there's a lot of creators that make gear for this game. More than just him. There isn't many physics mods for this game. Whoa. So there's there's a lot of gear creators for this for this game. Honest rating out of 10. Did you just tune in? Because like I, I said it a few times, but man, this, this map is a 10 out of 10. If you own Session, you need to have this map. And if you are looking to buy a DLC, like this is the only, this is the, like the number one DLC. Like the, the water park and the, the mall is good, but this map blows it out of the water. Oh, that was so sick. But not only that, like this map is one of the best maps in like any skateboarding game ever. Just because of how real these spots are, it's like... This map will go down in history. Map looks sick? Yeah. Super dope. How about just some nollie tricks? Like nolly heal with no slides. It's a big tray flip. Nice. Nolly heal. Uh, I missed the flick the catch. Yeah, let's get El Toro first. It's one of the first things you uh, hit when you open the map up. But I'll go there next. So I want to hit this line here. Ah. I'm trying to get used to this realistic manual catch. It's still so hard. Like, you gotta flick the, the, the catch, everything. All right, back tail. Ah, missed it. I'll be back five bones instead. Nolly friend crook. Ooh, dude. Very rarely do I actually call it out and try it and land it. Dude. With, with no bounce. Damn. I like calling my tricks out too. Like, I, don't, I don't know if that's annoying to you guys when I call it out, but like... When you intentionally do a trick that you're calling out instead of like landing in like a trick that you're not trying. I was like call it out so you guys can know I'm actually trying that. The trick looks super smooth. Yeah, dude. I think it's my settings too. Like there's a few things you can do to make the game look nice. Like I lowered the pop height. I don't know. Just, just a few things to tweak the game with the, the end game stuff. But I think going from auto catch to realistic catch really made the game feel better to me. I just, I don't know. Play session for like four to five years now, but I've never tried manual catch until this week. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna tab out for one second. I'm looking over. Oh my, I'm so sorry, the guys, but I'm looking over at my chat and it doesn't seem like the Twitch or the YouTube chat is popping up on my, what I'm reading, but I have both chats open now, but I think I've missed a few things. There's a guy named Stuart called me Poser. Pinched it. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading over here now. Look, your settings seem very Skater Excel ish not manual catching. Wait, what? Grind offsets? Nice pinch. I, I, I am manual, manual catching. What do you mean? Gameplay. Uh, where is it? Flip tricks. I'm manual catching. Forward control mode. Catch mode is manual. Input mode is input speed. Ever consider going into game dev? Um. Yeah, I, I recently made a mod for Skater XL. I learned how to make a mod for Unity. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some of that. I've made a few maps before in Unity. But I've never worked in Unreal, Unreal Engine. So I do wanna learn it. It'd be nice. But the mod that I made for Unity didn't actually interact with the game yet, so I'm not really familiar with the game code. Like I have to learn how to use C sharp. Is it hard to make a mod for XL? It's it's Yeah, it is pretty hard. But mainly because Skater Excel is built using an old version of Unity, so a lot of the stuff you have to use is depreciated. So you're using a lot of old technology to make something work. But it's hard to find documentation on what you need, really. But other than that, after you get set up and working, it's pretty easy. It's 
kind of why I learned how to make my website first. I learned how to do HTML, you know, CSS. Then I worked like uh, learned JavaScript. And then I learned frame frameworks. And then I learned back end stuff. And now I'm learning um, different code like languages. Like I'm learning a little bit of C sharp, like learning a little bit of um, other frameworks in JavaScript. I'm trying to get more and more into deeper deeper languages. Yeah, yeah, a lot of C, C sharp. But after you learn to read syntax, you can read most code. Like I, I can read C sharp and know what's going on. I just don't don't know how to write it properly yet. I can read it and know what's kind of happening though, which is really helpful to know. Just learning basic HTML and CSS. You worried about the Unreal Engine 5 change? No, I don't think so. I'm looking forward to it. I think it would look really nice. I don't really rely on any mods for this game. But yeah, it, it'll probably break a lot of the maps and stuff. Like the custom modded maps and gear even in the mods. But I think that overall it'd be good. A good change. Just got every DLC on the, on the Petra skate park. Oh, dude, you need Petrus. It's a really sick map. They're all good though. How about inward heel flip back? Inward heel flip back. Ooh, tail slide. Can migrate maps under Engine 5 somewhat easy with some elbow grease? Yes, people would have to port their stuff over, you think? Yeah, that makes sense. Call me a shooby, Stuart? Bro, are you a fellow rocket power enjoyer like me? Do you have something in common now? What other gear do you have in this game? Those half cabs are nice. I got the um, last resorts. It's kind of weird because you have to go to your apartment or whatever to change your gear. You can't just change it in the menu, but I got uh, Nike Dunks, Last Resorts, um, Converse, Louis Lopez Cons. You, you can only apply a few at a time because the, the gear overwrites the gear that's in the game. So a lot of the mods you download overlap each other, so you have to pick and choose what you want to wear. Oh, we're playing session, guys. This is session DLC. Ooh, that was sick. Yo, for hollow up, dude. Good to see, you, man. Uh, dude, it's like almost impossible to do flick tricks into back tails almost with this manual catcher and on. Dude, what? 540? My phase two content is going pretty good, man. Going pretty good. Gonna make a big comeback this year. I didn't post or do much last year. I'm trying to make a big comeback. Get ready for some skate four action this year, maybe, or next year. That was sick. Triple kickflip first try. Get the sub. <laughs> I'll try triple flip. You don't need to get the sub, though, but I'll try one. Double flip. I guess that was a, my first attempt, though, so that counts. Bro, my... F what the hell? I left my foot behind, dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn. Yo, Wandering, thanks for the follow. Jackson, thanks for the follow. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll just flick it faster then. Pop high, flick it fast. No oh, double flip. Didn't quick get the triple.
<laughs> nice line. Thank you, man. Are you enjoying the new DLC? I'm enjoying it really well here. It's really good. You're rushing me in your, at your work break? Nice, dude. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate the, the watching. I don't usually stream at this time of day. My schedule's been flipped over, so I've just been... Uh, I don't know. I want to go live earlier, but I think this late night session is kicked. Or just, it feels good. I don't know. The vibes are good right now. I'm more awake in the evenings than I am in the mornings. There we go. Nice slow flick. There we go. And we'll just do this back tail. Oh, I just missed it. Switch clip from board. More for no slide. I'll take that. Hop over. Nice, nice. <sighs> is this a mod or official DLC? It's official DLC. This just came out today. The map is official. And it's, a, it's beautiful. What the hell was that? That was almost a Stuchu Graham. Let's try some burial tricks. I've been avoiding burials all day long. Okay, that's why. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I tried to do Nolly hard flip no slide. <laughs> the DLC for me was 10 bucks. I live in Canada, so I think it's like eight bucks American. It's pretty cheap. First stair side, gap over the rail, back side. Gap over the rail, back side. Okay, hold on. Ooh, we're going. Ooh, we're going crazy. I don't know if I can go over back side in this rail, unless there's a space there. I think there's a grass thing there. I can go over something else. How about this rail? I'll go over a switch back side. How can we make your gameplay as clear as mine? Um, it's mainly just my computer, guys. It's really good. So, like, if you have an Xbox Series X or PS5, it can look this good, I think. If you um, have a decent TV or whatever, because I'm playing on a 1440p monitor. That's the biggest difference, is, like, you're watching on 1080p on YouTube or whatever, or Twitch. But my game is running at 1440. So if you could run the game at a high resolution like that, or, like, even 4K, it'll look insane. And that's pretty much just the, that's it, really. Also, like, um, your stats and your camera settings kind of come into effect a little bit, too. That was a weird looking 180. The physics look so much better, though. It might just be my settings. Like, I don't have much gameplay experience in this game, but I do have a ton in Skater XL. So, like, just knowing how to turn properly with the triggers and stuff is, is really making the gameplay look smooth because I'm really really gentle with the triggers and turning i'm not like going like this you know a lot of people that play this game you'll find them do this a lot so like you'll, you'll see a lot of jankiness when people are moving radically but if you just move slow movements you can make it look really smooth like also your truck tightness matters your bank lean all your settings kind of come into effect in how the game looks and reacts like i find if my trucks are too loose it just looks a little bit too jiggly and I don't know, makes kind of ruins the fun a little bit. Just certain things that do that. Let's go over here. Hit this rail. Double kink rail. Try front front crook and all you flip out. Pushing looks a little bit better now. Yeah, I think they changed a little bit of pushing. It does feel better. Dude. Kick the back tail, big spin out. Okay. On the on this kink rail. I'll try to do back tail, the down and across, then big spin at like before the second part. So I don't uh, jump off the rail maybe. 
Ooh. Oh, kick the back tail. Kick the back tail, big spoon. Eh? Yeah, That's locked in. Kick the back tail. Ooh. I heard a big spin. Do I have to, like... I guess I should, I should let go of the input and scoop. Oh, that's kind of hard to do. Or maybe I should let go and press to the right and do it. Kick, flip, gap, front, lip. That'd be sick. Like, over the whole thing. There's not much room to set up. Maybe one more push. Oh, I could have made that one easily. Three, four. Yeah. The late turn. Yeah, it was kind of weird and angle there. Ooh, that was butter. Minus the landing, the non-landing. I don't know how to big spin out. JL, yeah, dude. Uh, I've been loving it. It's amazing. Watched uh, both your videos today earlier before I went live. Ooh, that was nice. Definitely, like, not just the best map that got posted to session, but it's one of the best maps I've ever seen in a skateboarding game, period. It's amazing. Powerful Backsmith. Ooh, that'd be tough. I can try that, though. I want to try that rail, but there's a bench in the way. I could probably move. Can I move the bench, do you think? Oh, you can. What? I could try like a switch hard flip backsmith. Let's go somewhere where I can do that trick. Different rail, maybe. Smaller rail. Beautiful. Did you? I just see a JoJo reference. Did you? In the map? I don't know. I'll try it right here. How about switch hard flip backsmith this rail? It, I don't. I don't know. It might be too high. The rail might be too high. For my stats, at least. I can change my stats, obviously. But let's see. Switch. Okay, this is gonna be impossible to figure out. Let me try just a switch backsmith. Switch back Smith first. Yeah, we could do that. The Mark Appyard rail. Okay, we got that. Back lip looking thing. Try back Smith locked in though. Oh, back 50. Definitely possible. So I need to press like that. Okay. Down and then over. Down, then over. Down, then over. In the sequence. Oh, that was going to be the one. I just got too close to the rail there. Also too close. Yeah, you're recording a line. You got it, Crossy. Nice, dude. I'm stoked to see it. Join the DLC? Nice. Hard for Backsmith. I'm going to do that soon. Uh, favorite spot? Um, I like the the Merlin's line or whatever it's called. Like where you can start. I forget like what connect connections there are. You can go different directions. But like the one that has like the 
on the sea ledge and then you can go down to, towards the merlins like where it kind of um humps down i like i like the elevation changes where it isn't, isn't just flat okay, like, i like these areas here where it kind of changes goes down ramps show us the full map yeah yeah i can show you the full map you want to just walk around for the bit, little bit i'll try that trick well i'll try it on a different rail maybe so we got this spot you guys can name them just with the skittles ledges i think is the name here we got these rails I'm not sure the name of these. I haven't been here, so I'm not really sure. Over here, this where we start off at the, on the map is Hollywood High. Hollywood. Let's try to hit the rail really quick, and I'll go to Carlsbad next. Spack Smith. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, over here. I think that's all there is over here, right? There's nothing else, really. You can go around here. And this is Carlsbad. Beautiful. So go down this direction. <laughs> and you got these. We've already been through this. I'll keep going through this area. We're kind of like on the edge of the map a little bit, I think. This spot, I forget the name of it, but it's a very famous spot. I've seen it in a lot of videos. And uh, El, Tor El Toro, probably the most famous spot that you know of. Try the Chris Jocelyn. LA High Rail. Oh, yeah, LA High Rail. That's the rail. That's what that's called. And then Jocelyn Tray Flip. This is all, I think this is all actually here too in El Toro. I think it's the same layout. This is, I think this is a real spot too, of some sort. Can't remember though. Maybe it's not. This is Merlin. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, maybe not. I think everything here is crazy. This is a spot. This is a spot over here. This is uh, El Toro, very famous gap. I, th I think this is blocked off in real life though. Like El Toro and this, you can't even hit them anymore in real life. This is kind of like, an, like a, an older yeah, version. On the if you're gonna to skate here. Yeah, this spot. Yeah, it's just so many spots, dude. This one. This famous rail over here. I think right here, this is my favorite spot in the whole game though, right here, for this whole map. This, this ledge, I like that. Go to this, like just the, the three piece line here is, is, is insane. I like this so much. Belmont, that's what that one is. Elysian 18, Bel uh, Belmont 9. Vibes, yeah, yeah. Later, later vibes today. I woke up really late. Make it on top. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wait. You see stairs? This is how I get on top. I use the um. Wait, how do I object dropper? Oh, I have to be in. I use this. I just pick something up. Put it beneath me. And then you can travel through the map. Like that. Pick myself up. Um, where do you want to go? Oh, you, you said you saw these stairs. Oh, you. So you can just get up by walking. <laughs> so they, they designed it in a way you can actually get up here and walk. Okay. Oh, they made it so you can gap that too. Roof gap anywhere? Roof gap. There's one, not really a gap. Through. Oh, right there, roof to roof. Yeah, that's dope. Oh. The stairs like to walk up. Yeah, the stairs. 
that would be... I, I just like kind of scoping out like with that little uh, bird eye view though. So here's the, the gap. The gap. Gap. This is a real rip rear spot. From mid nineties. <laughs> is this where you like where that kid dropped down and almost died? I think it might be. It looks similar. Oh, I was why am I doing five forties? I might turn off my my spin speed down a little bit. What mods do I got? Just clothing mods. Like what I'm wearing is my clothing. My, my, my mods. What I'm wearing is my clothing. I just did a fat tray flip. Oh. Why I keep hitting something? That's weird. I'm hitting. Did you see Hollywood High 16? Yeah, I did, Maddie. Just had a cup of milk. That sounds weird. Why is that weird? Why is cup of milk weird? <laughs> I enjoy a glass of milk here and there, you know? Ooh, just hit the lip. You need the new EA skate to come out? Yeah, we do. Oh, that was perfect. Do, 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 do. I want to see. Wait, what? Damn. Dude, I just made it. A glass of warm milk. Okay, that's a little bit too far. Before bedtime. Did you microwave it? I used to do that as a kid. But then I just realized you're just simulating breast milk. You can get, you can mash push instead of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, I don't know. It just, it looks a little bit too aggressive sometimes. Okay. How can I film this? Like, what can I do? Whoa. Sele select editor mode filmer. What? I'm not sure what I just did. Can I like, um, okay, let me try this. Let's go to like free camera. We're in that camera lens fish eye DX. Is that right? Damn. Did they add like static to the camera? I'm not sure if I used to do that. How do you film like a Maybe from over here. Yeah, like this. Ooh, this would be nasty. Okay, camera. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna look good, you think? Kind of. I didn't fix the keyframes though. <laughs> Just so fast. I need to like fix that. That was kind of nasty looking. Just so fast though. I would um uh, play rate. So I'll go like max speed. Max speed, extremely slow speed, like not that slow though, like maybe like uh, two five, I don't know, quarter speed, and then I don't know, quarter speed, then like just 
faster of some sort. Maybe like I'll, I don't know what to do. Like, should I go like full speed now? <laughs> Oops, I didn't do full speed. That's fine. Though. Let's get rid of one of those. Get rid of that one. Yo, BS, what up, dude? After updating your game, it keeps crashing every time it starts. Uh, this game? I'm not sure on what system or PC. Every DLC session drops quality. Yeah. Yeah, but this one is like extreme quality. It's. Um. Am I doing camera? Turn that off. I want to see some edits on this map. I'm sure I'll like log into. <laughs> Just log it. I can't jump down, Bruh. <laughs> How do I make a fucking jump? I can't do it. It's too realistic. I gotta do it in sequence. I gotta jump down to this. Nice, bro. <laughs> what? Why is he so weak in the legs? There we go. Do you use the uh, the cheat menu? What's the what's the cheat menu, Cross? You never even heard of that. Cheat menu. For this game, there's a cheat menu. I was the JL was nice enough to give me his file like a year ago, and I think I still have it. But if you look at my game, you can't see it. But look at my look at my money. It's behind my camera. Hold on. My monies. I have a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. I think I have all the money that you can get in the game. All the money. I'm rich. Okay, I need to get down. Uh, why am I back up here? Yo, Oscar, what I do? Crashes are really caused are caused by mods. The main one at the moment is the cheat mod. Remove that from the content blueprint folder should fix. Oh, so JL saying like I'm reading over at Twitch chat and YouTube, but um, JL saying that the uh, the cheat mod is what's making you crash probably. I never even used that mod. What's that? What's that do? I don't know what the cheat menu. What's the cheat menu? Oh, no, Theo doesn't have the cheat menu. He's saying so it's not that. What system are you on, Theo? PC? The apartment looks more detailed, does it? Let me check it out. Look for the apartment. I'll go back to the map in a second. Is this more detailed than before? Hey, did they add... Wait. Does this look different? I can't tell. You have $151,000 in the game? That's crazy. It's uh, maybe, like, it seems like it might be different, but I've, I never really looked around. Adjust settings. Wait, is that new? Options. So they added this to the, the computer. That was kind of like a, a while ago back. Yo! Shulm, thanks for the prime, dude. Yo. Yo. Thanks for the prime. Select session. Oh, they wait, they changed the menu in the game though. That was different. Select station, look around. Is this different? Yeah, select station. That's different, I think. Maybe maybe I'm tripping. Go skate. There we go. I don't know. Schoolyard. So these are all my DLCs. I got I paid for all these, right? Yeah, this is like the year one pack. I paid for this. Water park I paid for. I keep pressing left for some reason. Free update with the Ninja Turtles. The, the mall and the schoolyard. Thanks for the content. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. 
The session DLC better than XL. <laughs> is this one map better than Skid Row XL? I mean, I think somebody might eventually port it, which that definitely is not something that creature is going to like, but I mean, I think it's going to be ported to a lot of games, honestly. Like, I, I could definitely see this map even getting ported to Skate 4 when it comes out. Like, this map is iconic. People are going to be playing this map, making this map, and recreating it in, like, for so many years to come. This map is amazing. Yeah, we're just hitting Hollywood High. Let's do a tray flip, no slide. Okay, first tease. Go hard flip back lip or back tail. Oh, a little bit too early on the input there. A map better than the game. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, you spawn right in front of Hollywood High. Okay, okay. Creature hasn't missed so far. I'll try a sugar cane. I don't know if this is. How would I do sugar cane? So like, I would press the backsmith input with a 180. Oh my god, that was nuts. You bought the DLC when it was released, but as soon as I put the game, my in the new window saying the game crashed. Um, if it's if it's in Steam, just try maybe right clicking your Steam game, like right click our session, and go to um. I think it's browse local file or no? You have to get to the menu where you can uh, verify the integrity of your game files. There's a few different selections there, but you can essentially re-download or verify the game that has the proper stuff in the game to run. I, I ran the verify stuff when I downloaded the, the DLC. I had no issues. Transition sucks in this game. Um, like you can get some really nice looking coping stuff. Like you can do some really cool looking like thrashes and just like back tails and back smith, but you can't uh, do any grabs. So there's not much air you can do. You can't like just huck a 540 like melon. Like you can't uh, grab the board at all. So yeah, the vert's not really there for this game. It's I mean, just a street game. It's kind of weird because like skateboarding came from like the original skateboarding came from like surfing and skating holes and pools and transitions so i think that's that should definitely be looked into and, and added upon because it's a big part of old school skating 180 feeble input oh my god dude i think i got lucky i did lock it in wait did i lock it in I did a wheel slide Nah, I didn't lock it in very good. All good though. Picky front blunt for Mota. For Felipe Mota. Cheat menus hugging crashes. Um, he's saying that he doesn't have a cheat menu though. Before it's the right IRL. Right now, for in real life, I got the. Uh, I can't remember if I have a quasi or a polar. I usually buy. Lately, I've been buying polars and quasis. 8.25s. I think my board right now is a, yeah, I think it's a quasi if I remember. It's my trunk of my car. But I got uh, Spitfire conical wheels, 54 millimeter. Like really, really good Formula 4 Spitfires, conical shape. I got Bone Swiss bearings. Invested into some nice bearings a couple years back and I still have them. So like, man, these bearings have lasted over a year. And I got Shorty's hardware. Classic. I, use, I have this grip tape that's come from Canada. It's called Classic Grip. It's kind of like between Jessup and Mob grippiness. It's kind of like medium grip. I, I watched a little bit of the primitive video on Gifted Haters stream. Yeah, I didn't watch it myself though. Just tuned in. And I saw he's watching it. Oh, that was clean. Front nose blunt. Ah, hold on. I missed the push. That was a bit angled, but too angled maybe. Hard flip front nose slide. Oh my god. 
try this flip and multi trick again. The big spin blunt. Oh, that'd be so nasty. Oh, I got the bigger spin. Kicky front 50. Try that. That works. I don't know how you front 50 a down though. You just press up and down. Ah, I'm going over the rail. I'm just skating this orange parking cone right off that curb. Are you skating the cone over there? <laughs> you, just, you just spawned and started skating the cone. DLC up for console? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This DLC dropped um, last night. I was playing it last night. I, like, I think it dropped at like 12 in the morning. Or no, 3. I guess I think it dropped at 3 a.m. for me. So like 12 a.m. West Coast, maybe? Or maybe a little bit later. I don't know. I was playing it last night. Is Silmar in this map? Does anybody know? Like, I, I don't know the name of a lot of spots, but um, can anybody confirm if that is in the, in the map? Silmar? S Y L M A R. Silmar, the, oh, the blue, blue rails. That's, that's this right here. I'm next to it. These rails? What do you guys want to see? What spot do you want to see? Type in the chat what uh, spot we should go check out. You're going to head out and play some Apex, All right, Kate, uh, Cedric? Stay safe out there, Milky. Get everyone in the chat. Thank you for chilling, man. After about the DLC, I zone for a good 45 minutes here. Switch tray tail slide. Switch tray tail slide. So, like, how about a. Oh, that'd be nasty. A switch front. Uh, switch tray flip front tail slide. That would be sick. I can tray flip that high, though. I gotta actually flick it. Oh no, I have fun over here. But let's try it right here. S switch. Tray flip. Oh my, this is really hard. I gotta catch it with my manual catch. I keep forgetting how to do it. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay, so this. Dude. There's kick flip. Up shove it. It's hard to do that. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. But then I have to do what? This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it right here. Oh, hold on. A little bit slower. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Wait, that, am I doing a hard flip? No, I'm doing a yeah, three flip, right? That's the right direction. Backwards on Skater XL, I have to get used to doing this. Like this? Dude, it's so hard to wrap my head around that. Nolly Front Feebles? Okay, I'll try that next, maybe. I can get this one down. Got the Vario Flip. Okay, there's the three flip. That is incredibly difficult. I don't know why it's so hard. Like not really scooping. Am I pressing the wrong direction? It's like no problem in regular. How do I do a switch? Okay, I think we could do it. It's not, it's just not going. I think I'm like maybe flicking too hard. Flick more to the right. Okay, you're right. Flick more to the right. I think that was the trick. I'm just not used to flicking and scooping with that direction at all. This is really awkward to do. There we go. That was the one. Okay, I think I I know what, I, what the problem was. I need to scoop it more because my um I know what the issue was. 
gameplay flip trick settings my scoop input wait where is it input mode is on normal i think i can do any kit says a new skater bro try small yeah yeah a new skater bro um i don't know i'll just have fun get out there and skate every day make friends Rename saved file to saved old and load session. If the game launches, it means your save file is the issue. Oh, if the person that's still having the issues with um, loading. Jails on the YouTube chat. He's saying if you uh, rename your save file to saved old capitals, it might load. This is so hard, guys. It's like impossible, this trick. Up oh, Toxic? It's pretty good, man. One of the best maps ever. Okay, here we go. Front tail. Bruh. Like, the problem with this, though, is the input mode makes the scoop really fast. Like, almost too fast. That was a beautiful switch flip. Switch tray. Okay, I need to. I think I have the inputs down now. Just scoop, flip, press that direction. Let me try just a switch front tail. We, we can do the switch front tail like nothing. Okay, it's maybe maybe not nothing, but something. Don't want to do the revert though. Okay, so we can do that. But like switch flip front tail. Ooh. Switch flip front nose. Oh, that was a bit buggy. Make it even harder and go Mickey Papa and switch laser. <laughs> switch laser flip, switch front lip. He did he do that? I know he can do laser flip lip slides, but he, did he do a switch? That's nutty. Oh, that was like, I'm just pressing too early to catch. Okay, I think we got it. We got it right here. See this map with the weather mod? Yeah, you can change the weather in this game though. You can change like the time of day, you know? Like it's got you know, all these options. But it's cool to like see it, like the rain or see it with snow and stuff. Customize it more. Let's do a switch front feeble. Just get it nighttime. Yeah, the leaves falling. Yeah, like it's nice when you have like stuff floating around you. It just feels cool. More dynamic. Switch, flip. Oh, switch, flip front feeble. Pressed up, really? I have to press down? Yeah, I, I know. I did double flip by accident there. I was trying to single flip. I don't know how that happened. There's another one. I keep over rotating the flip. Wait, I'm kind of landing a feeble. Let's keep double flipping. Oh, I know that the issue is like I'm, I'm flicking the catch like too smoothly. I'm trying to like, I need to flick it harder to catch. I'm being too gentle on the sticks. Switch over crook. Oh, let's do like the switch. I need to pop from the pocket like right here. It's almost impossible to press the pocket doesn't this like switch pop stance look different like why is my foot is it my shoe doing that it looks like he's actually pr putting pressure on his foot 
There's the pocket over there. I can't find the other pocket, though. Is there a way to change? Oh, there it is. Damn. Is there a way to make that bet, like, easier to do? Yeah, peace, JL. Thanks for the tip, man, and help. Oh! <laughs> I didn't lock it in very good. I popped it to the, to the side. That was crazy. Nolly Front Feeble. Nolly Front Feebles? Okay, I'll try that. Somebody said that earlier, too. Nolly Front Feebles? I think that'd be almost first try. Oh, that was almost there right there. Didn't lock it in. I keep ghost pushing. I think we just need two pushes. Like, I think that's good, honestly. Nah, maybe, maybe like two big pushes. Nah, it's still a bit too slow. I think I need to just push speed. Just increase it just a little bit. Two pushes, faster speed. That's way better. Ah, it's still hitting the edge of the staircase, man. Right after the brick ledge and grind this awning. Grind that awning right there. I wonder if you can just get some speed and do that. There's a couple of spots in the map that are like that. I don't even look at the staircase behind me either. Smaller set. Okay. Molly front people. A little bit too fast. Still, I need to like not go so fast. Maybe if I like made my push force like less. Oh no. But then did three pushes, made it will work. That's perfect. That is perfect speed. Press down first, down and over. Tray flip over crook, revert out. Tray flip over crook. I'll try a few more of these. It's definitely give me some problems though. What if we try like the pocket? I have to press like this direction. Try that tray flip nose blend maybe. Or overcrook, I guess it was. Tray overcrooks. I wait for the flip to rotate all the way around before I catch it. Ah. Pop further away from the rail, yeah. It's really hard to time it. Ooh. Tray flip front lips. Kickle front smith. Look at this. Ah, I'm still catching the board too early. Just front smith, front smith, straight up. Noodles or rice. There we go. Noodles or rice? Honestly, noodles. Honestly, noodles. What do you guys think? Whoa. Front hurricane. Noodles. <laughs> Noodles. How long have you been to web development? Um, I got into it in the summertime. I did it for a month or so, and then I uh, quit for a little bit just to kind of take a break. So I, I'd say, like, I've been doing web development for, like, 60 days in total. So far. If you add all my days up. Whoa, that was a double flip front hurricane. Yo, how about a nolly? I don't know if I can do this, but nolly front hurricane. That'd be insane.
push down main. I really like foe. I'm a big fan of foe. And chopsticks. Yo, Gurn, what up, dude? A main Gurn. Have you played the DLC, I yeah, Gurn? Do you even have session? Do you even session, bro? Foe for sure. We already playing this map in uh, Mad Max Blakes. Pronounce pho? Isn't it a pho? But I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> Damn. Alright, Nolly Overcrook. It's pronounced pho. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. I've been calling it pho this whole time. Like, even to the lady's face. Have some chicken pho, please. Pronounce oh, every second that. Got any Xbox One, which you don't talk about? Oh, you have the session Xbox One? Hey. That was alright. Didn't really pinch it very well. How about like Travel Board Crook? This really didn't quite get it. Oh my god. You're a noob, you say foe. Okay, new spot. New spot. I'm gonna go back to the, the Merlin spot. My favorite one. Ooh, fat. Damn. Oh. Who let my tiger out? Who let my tiger out? El Toro, casual. Okay, here it is. This is the best best line in the map. This this line here reminds me of the line in the middle of Easy Day, Easy Day High School, but this is better. Just way better. Like, look at this. You got this sort over here. This uh, staircase. You hit this uh, ledge, hit this ledge. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, play the line out. I'm getting pretty familiar with the map layout, though. It's very nice. You see, punk white boy. I've seen a thousand streams. No, man. I, I've the only issue I'm having, guys, is I have two chats open. For some reason, my chat. I want to fix it, but. Hold on, let me try to fix it. My YouTube chat is not popping up on my stream anymore. But I'm reading from two different chats. That's why I'm missing stuff. If I miss anything, just paste it back in so I can read it. What up, Beach Boy? Glad to see some Milky on session. What's your favorite spot so far? This is the best spot right here. Curbs the best on any map. Yeah, I like this. Like, I really like these curved ledges right here. This is super fun. I think these are real too, like a real recreation. Let me try like a friend no slide around it. Oh, friend crook. Uh, no slide, okay. What about Provo? Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Damn. Thanks, bro. Wait, did you have a part in this map, Big Cat? Or do you like provide, like, how do they get the references? Is that you, you guys like provide reference photos or stuff? It's not you. Why, why is the person who made this map anonymous? Who are they? What is their name? Oh! Max Smith? No! His name is Renaud. Renaud? Oh, wait, um, are they French? I don't think a French name. 
Reno, junior designer or editor? A junior designer made this? Um, I hope they didn't pay him junior designer wages because it's crazy. I don't, I don't know what he, I don't think he, did he skate? I don't know if he knows what he just did by creating this map. He just unlocked like uh, like years and years of fun for people. It's not just like, not just one DLC that's going to come and go. It's, this is going to be a map that you play for like ever. You should do a video getting all the session achievements. If I knew where they were, I would do them, yeah. You should do a video of getting all session achievements. The first map I bought is pretty fun. Uh, what clothing mods? Whoa, what's my guy doing there? You see that? Um, uh, pretty much my entire outfit's uh, modded. So my head to toe is all modded clothing. Uh, but there's no physics mods or anything like that. But my my board is just a regular board I bought in the in the store. I think my trucks might be modded, but my wheels are just from the store. But my shoes, socks, uh, pants, shirt. I really wish the the default character in the game had socks because like I like I think shorts look the best. I don't know. They nailed the atmosphere on this? Yeah. Well, I think part of it too is, um, I have a setting set up, my camera. I have every day Mr. Green turned on and here's it turned off. It just makes it a little bit more bluey. I like, it just looks more saturated. Like this is all the way green, a little bit too much. This Renault guy really deserves a lot of credit for this map, dot, dot. Dot dot. You never. You're a YouTuber, can't stay long because they. But to go skate? Hey, dude! That's the best message, man. Going for a skate, it's more important than this. But I appreciate the love and support, man, that you like the channel. And thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good session. It must be, uh. Something in the U, maybe. Right now. It's like almost nighttime here where I'm in Canada. Let's go for a night session. W Renaud? Can we get a W Renaud in the chat? For uh, the map maker? The junior developer that made this beautiful map? W Renaud? Do a Steezy 360 shove it. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. I'm not trying to make it look Steezy though. Like, aren't doing possibles work in this game still? Wait, did they fix some possibles yet? You press if you press down, it does like a weird W thing. Ronaldo. <laughs> w Ronaldo. Oh, I need to press up. I think to do that nicer. What do you do a nice hard flip? A nice slow hard flip. Ooh. Nolly Crow can Nolly flips. Oh, that Nolly hard flip out. Big W's, W Renaud. We need Eggzilla. <laughs> what, you want the 10.0 egg deck? It took me a long time to find a good shape to use. I'm using the welcome deck shape. I, I kind of like it. It just looks nice. I got like kind of conical or bones V5 looking wheels, like round, like squared off wheels. But my board is very Pretty, pretty torn up. It took me a few days to get get the worn off. Uh, Jumps know. there to nose manual forever. I really wish that you can just like use a custom board in this game and just have it already worn out because I don't like how it looks when it's too fresh. You know, I want like the worn truck look. We gotta yeah, actually play the game the more that them down. Nolly front crooks. That one there. I want to fly like an eagle to the safely like an eagle let my spirit carry me. Me too. Ooh. Um, back tail, big flip out. What's he doing? No inputs. He's just doing that. New bug. 
He's vibing. <laughs> Jamming up the cooking soul. New animations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, double flip. I didn't mean to do the double flip. That line was really good, though. Let's skate IRL. Yeah, dude, if you live close, I'm down. I'll be skating every single day this year. And yeah, whenever it gets um, not so cold, it's very chilly out there, you know. Milky, can you milk me? Yes. Get over here. What was that? That was weird looking. Flip ah. That's a good trick. Try to get back to the flip. I don't really do many 180s. Oh my god, that's why. <laughs> Just 540. Out of nowhere. Yeah, it was a cool baby nollie. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how, like, how do you 180 slow? Brother, I'm doing 540s. Me, um. What's my spin speed? Body rotation rate? I don't know. Can you do a quick nose grind 180L like Skater XL? Nose grind 180 l like over the far side? Yeah. That's one thing I wish I could do better in this game. But I think I could probably still do it. Just wouldn't be as nice looking. Try right there, maybe. Like nose grind 180 out the hard way. Will we see more IRL content this year? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you're going to see like posts for sure. Just going live? I don't know. I might make some videos. Yeah, you're going to see some videos. I have some ideas. I'm going to make like a session. Real life versus session video. We'll make some more Skater XL videos. make a few of those where I go to the skate park and try some tricks and film it and then try to recreate the trick exactly the same map in the, the game. I'm gonna do a few of those this year. That pop pivot. In the ASMR video, just put myself in the ASMR channel and just do grinds all day. I don't even speak. We need an ASMR Earth skate video. Yeah, Donovan. Well, I did I did Donovan in my last video. So, actually, no, did I do Donovan? No, yeah, you're right, Donovan. Yeah, I did P-Tech in my last video. But I, I will do it in Donovan next time, yeah. But I want to get Donovan and P-Tech in session, too, so I can make the same kind of video in this game. Are we creating El Toro? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the... If I lived in California, it'd be sick to like recreate stuff at this kind of map. At like stuff that I can do. But I, I don't live anywhere close to anywhere here, so... I, I want to wait for Garrett's video to do that. Maybe he'll post a video like that. He should, though. Yeah, you can't scale Toro anymore. He, I think he's just joking. I'm not doing all Toro, man. Okay, I want to do like front crook, shove it, back crook, shove it. Maybe the bounce there. Garrett did 50 50 on the 18 stairs to the right? Yeah. He, he didn't do this one, did he? He's, I don't think he skated that, but I think Garrett skated this rail that we're doing right now. That one he did? He did that rail? No way. That's insane. I think I've seen Garrett do this, though. 
pretty sure I've seen him do this rail. Um, try it again. Try to land again here. Doing double flips. Okay. I can know how to do the big spin from board. I press down to catch it so I can angle it properly. He got a clip on the Trans World YouTube last week. Really? I gotta watch that. Here, Captain Huck. Yeah, he's crazy. Very good skater. Garage entered the, the 18. Yeah, that's insane. That's a big stair, dude. 18 stairs. What's the biggest staircase you guys ever done? Take the chat. What's the number? Mine, mine is 12, and that is like pushing my limit. I can't do that anymore. No way. My, my knees would break. 12 stair. 12 stairs in the most for you, criminal. That's a lot. Of, like if you, I think. A lot of stairs for like in general is like eight or more. I think eight. I think eight's a lot for most. That's how big. Like you can have, find some really small eight sets though. But one step curb. Hey, they all count. Ten stairs, five stair in ninety in eighty nine. Yeah. Okay. So like the longer ago you did it, the more. Um, the more powerful those those stair points count for. So like if you did a Nate stair in '99, you know it's different than Nate stair last year. It's a big deal. If you're doing staircases in in '89, that's crazy. <laughs> I wasn't even born yet. Ten stair in 2005. I was born in '92, so I think my first staircase that I did was like maybe in like 2002. When I was like 10 or like 2005, yeah, when I was like 13 years old, I was doing like seven stairs and eight stairs. I think I, I front boarded my first 12 set when I was like 16. That was like pretty much peak for me at one point. I could probably still do that though, like front board. Like I can't jump down rails much anymore. Like I just don't want to. <laughs> it just. I don't know. I can, I can ollie stuff, but I don't want to huck down stuff anywhere. I, I can definitely still front and board in front the uh, 50, 50 50 rails, like big rails. I like grinding stuff. How many stairs can someone jump on a skateboard to flap without building their body in half taking face? I don't know. You guys see that clip of that one guy that he did the staircase in LA and it's like bigger than Leap of Faith? The guys that were in like the. I forget the beanie's called, like it's kind of like the Jamaican looking beanie, like the Bam Margera type cap thing, like the beanie cap. And he had like dreads. And he just did the biggest ollie off of this off this drop. And he landed it, bolts. Yeah, it must have been like at least 25 stairs or more. Session hard? Yeah, session, session is very hard, yeah. It can, it can be easy though if you have good, like, easy stats. But I'm playing on the on some certain settings right now that make the game pretty difficult to play. But you can make it easier, but it's definitely harder than Skate 1. It's like. You, 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 if anybody here remembers at all, like, not many people, people probably do, but like, going from Pro Skater, like, Tony Pro Skater to um, Skate is the same feeling as going from skate to this. Like, it, it, it's a very steep learning curve. You know, going from the mashing button control scheme to the, the flick it control scheme was a was a huge deal back in the day. And it's kind of weird that people say that skate is arcadey because back then, Pro Skater was the arcade game. And then when skate came out, skate was the simulator because it had the flick controls and it made skateboarding feel like skateboarding. So like, it feels like that, the same, in the same direction that Skate 1 went from Tony Hawk for Skater, it's the same direction away from Skate controls. So you're using two sticks, you're using your, your triggers to turn, like you're leaning, instead of turning with your trigger or your sticks. You lean side to side. 
So it just feels more realistic and a little bit more grounded. But you, you have more control, in my opinion, over certain, certain tricks. Like a kickflip in this game, like feels like a kickflip. Like you have to use both your feet. It just feels really good. Skate can be realistic, but people like yeah, yeah. So the the thing about Skate Three is it really got popular. Skate Three like got really popular five years after it got uh, released because of uh, Jack Septicai, I think uh, PewDiePie and Zexy Zek, and a lot, a lot of people they they made made the game go viral a lot with their clips. And it really took off, but the original Skate 3 and Skate 2 and Skate 1, people played it, for the most part, I played it realistically. I would boot it up, I would do the kick flips, I would never do... I would do the massive gaps, but... Even back when I played Tony Pro Skater, I used to try to play realistically as possible, just do like small stuff, but you're still very limited. Trick landing, I feel killed it. Um... Not really. Like, it made the game really popular and kind of elevated it in a lot of ways, but it brought in, like, a whole community that's kind of separate from what people from the Session and the XL community kind of appreciate. Like, there's definitely some overlap there, but there's a, a whole group of people that want to do massive gaps, and there's a whole group of people that just want to do, like, one spot at a time like this and just chill. I don't know. It's kind of weird because, like, Session focuses on that realistic stuff. You know, Skate Pro Skater kind of focuses more on the casual stuff, I guess you can say, but then Skate 4 is kind of like in the middle. We're trying to do a little bit of both. Where every trick you do looks realistic and nice and controlled, but then you can jump off of buildings if you want. How does a front side flip work? How do you move your body in this game? There's different ways to do it, but... I guess, like, I mean, you can... I, I can explain it way better with Skater XL because I don't have much experience with this game, but you just, like, press down on your left, on your right foot, like this. And then you would kick flip with the left foot. And then also you have, to you have to catch the board in the air. So while you're doing this kick flip, you're, you're holding the left trigger to turn. So you really just, like, do ollie and hold the trigger to spin, or you hold it lightly. I'm not very good at spinning though. It seems like my spins are way too quick. But you just all eat and do a spin. Romy and my friends would play all the THTS games together and would create our own skaters and play realistic and skate all the real world spots and make our own story up about our rise to being the pro, getting sponsored, <laughs> etc. Yeah, that's, dude, I would like. Man, I was. Was anybody like me? So, like, when I was a kid, I used to play Tony Pro Skater. Like, like underground two underground one and then yeah, i'd go to this the skate park in your life and i pretend like, the, like i'm a pro like in the game and that like i'm gonna get picked up one day by like uh if somebody if i land this trick right now at the skate park somebody's gonna roll up and sponsor me and take me away forever and i go to contest travel the world they like, just like i don't know like pro skaters sold me this li like lifestyle that i can like make it myself <laughs> Even like Skate 1, 2, and 3 where I was like gonna like get sponsors, I don't know. That was you. Man, the, the biggest, like the movie Grind, like the biggest goal for me back in the day was like trying to film VHS edits and then go to the local skate shop and get them, get them to watch my VHS tape in the shop. The sponsor me tape. Ah oh, man. The underground dream, yeah. yeah. This is um it's a DLC map, so it's it's vanilla, it's in the game, but you have to buy it separately, so it's ten bucks or eight bucks to buy it. Line is nice, too much gravity, too much gravity in this. I could, I could turn it down. I'm using the, just the default gravity. Should I make it go a little bit lighter, you think? The problem is with like lighter gravity, when I do rails like this, I end up flying over it and I can't uh, land on the, the down rail. This 
map run. Um, I don't have the frame rate pulled up, but it runs perfectly. I've had no issues, no crashing issues, nothing. I think it's a max, a max, uh, where's the display video? Oh, V-Sync, I should turn this off. Oh, wait, sh do I need V-Sync on? It's all an epic 60 FPS. I AMD FSR. If I remember, I think you need to lock this game to 60 FPS because there's a bug with higher frame rates. I'm not sure if it works or not. Casper slide the bench? Can you, how do you Casper slide with manual catch? You just catch up to the down? Cap the game at 120. Yeah, there, there is some, I forget what it was, but there is an issue with higher frame rates. Like, I think it was the animations, actually. The, 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 the realistic animations, from what I remember. So if you have advanced settings, or no, where is it? Experimental. If you have skater physical animation turned on, I believe these animations are 60 FPS locked. So they don't really work properly with higher FPS or something. Something like that. I forget that with that. You, you can run the game at 120, but then your skater might bug out. Ooh. Let me just skate these benches here. You don't notice any issues? Yeah. That's good. Maybe they fixed it. That'd be ideal. When you play with higher FPS, it causes delay in your trick, so a kickflip will feel really bad. Oh, delays, you said. Uh. That was blunt. Just bump the bar. Turn on premium casters? Yeah. I just don't have to try to do them. You can try out Casper on this picnic table. Options. Gameplay. Is it, uh, what's it? It's experimental, right? Casper's. Easy. Could be done similar to manuals by catching the website down midair. Only one. F so if I have manual catch turned on, I could just do that. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I think my pops to be higher though. Oh, okay, you got this, you think? I don't know how I just spawned over there. Yeah, it's hard to play with, with too many XL maps for free, yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot of, there's like a thousand XL maps. A lot of good ones, a lot of not so good ones. But uh, Session has like less maps, but they're all really high quality. Mind you, the highest one Project A. How do I slide? He just, he just like dies. How do I make him not die? I feel like you're doing a board slide. How, what's that? What do you mean? Do you have a Twitch? Yeah, I'm on Twitch right now. I'm streaming, streaming on both platforms right now. Turn down power slide friction. I think I have it down all the way. Power slide friction. It's all the way down to the bottom. What would you rather have more mats with some less quality or less mats but higher quality? Oh, we, we, we have both. Like we have, um, we got Skater XL available to play. We have Session, so we have both, you know? We got a ton of maps to check out every single day and Skater XL, modded maps. 
I'm not sure if I, if I had to choose one or the other, I don't know. But I'm lucky that we just have both games we can play. But I do think that somebody will port this to Skater XL, so I mean... I do, I do like the freeze, the free-to-play nature. I think modding... I the the best business model for any game is you buy the game once you have the you have the game that's the best model. And then if you want to do DLC, release like a like a super big DLC, like release like I, I wish they did a DLC where they released all the maps, like all the DLC packs in one map or one pack. Flip back side nose blunt to flip out. Yeah, I'll try that. I, I think this um, Casper is kind of giving me a hard time, honestly. It's not really sliding. It's still experimental. Maybe I can do advanced Caspers. Oh, you control the pitch with that thing. It's a little bit, a little bit hard for me to do that. What was the trick again? Oh, try manual in-air board control. Let me see that. Where's that setting? Options, gameplay. Where's... What's this? Oh. I think I switched this by accident. Pressure? Speed? Timed? What's this? Big air landings, wear and tear, advanced. Okay, I'll just try this, see if it works. Let's turn my gravity back down now. My high pop. Body rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was supposed to be a manual the whole time. I don't know why it switched, but that was definitely the issue with the 180s. But now I can just 180, right? Yeah, this is this is better. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Finally working. Yeah, it's way better. Actually, 180 now. that nose blunt trick? I forget what the trick was. I think it was like a nose blunt nolly tray out, right? Or something? So let me try that. On this bench. We're gonna um, nose blunt nolly tray flip onto the far side of it if I can. I guess maybe straight though. I don't know if I should go straight or far side. Ooh, hold on. Trying to get, trying to get the lock in proper, not an overcorrect looking thing. Nose blunt. When you play Skitter Soul on Steam, it doesn't let you start it, but open when you connect your controller. Oh, my controller's connected. You can't, you can't start it because your controller is being red. Um. Yeah, your controller shouldn't matter. You can play the game with it turned on or off, but I'm not really sure. Honestly, like sometimes Skater XL just takes a few tries to load. Sometimes it just, it just doesn't work. There's been times where I try to play Skater XL and it takes me like three attempts. And I think the past couple of days, XL multiplayer has been down. It seems like easy they forgot to pay the bill or something. I don't know. But I think there might be an issue with that too, like trying to load the internet and it might not be connecting properly. I don't know. It's working fine for you. Yeah, the past weekend though, the multiplayer has been up, up and down servers.
besides Runny Mullen, is Mike V the only skater to do board flip slides? I don't think Mike V does, though. He doesn't do many Caspers. He's like a, a grabber. Hands on the course type of guy. Does like a cartwheel and does like a hand board flip magic trick and then catches it when he's on the cartwheel. You think skate four is gonna be focused on too much not on skateboarding things? Um, I don't mind if it really is a little bit. Like we have session in Excel for like the real, kind of like the real feel of skateboarding, but. I really wish these games were more... I really appreciate the dress-up. You know, I, I like modding Sashino. I like modding Skater XL to make it feel and look like myself or customizing my clothing and the map and stuff. I, I think uh, Skate will be like The Sims because they have a lot, a lot of developers from The Sims working on Skate 4. So I think like cosmetic-wise, you can have like a, an apartment to yourself that you can customize. I'm looking forward to that a lot, that you can have an apartment or you can maybe buy a house or something and uh, deck it out with like stuff and make it look nice and unique. I know it's not skateboarding related, but it's just kind of a cool thing that you should definitely add. I guess I'm doing that. I don't know. I played the, I played the play testing for Skate 4, and some of the f most fun I had was um, I, I, did, I did a boxing match with somebody else. There was a boxing ring in the middle of the street, and we just fought each other. Like doing flips and like backflips and kind of punch each other it's just kind of fun so i don't know there's definitely some cool things about the non-skating stuff but i do hope that the skating gets better because the grinds feel kind of weird um honestly though like i don't know the game feels pretty good G yeah we're, we're hoping for like gta skateboarding you know like realistic city i want to like get in a car and drive i want to do everything I hope GTA 6 adds skateboarding because that's what we I want like for myself like just the full fun life sim. Can you choose what way you bump? Yeah, I can choose what way I bump out. Look at this rail here. I can like crook this rail and bump to the far side there maybe. Hold on, I pop forward. Gotta pop to the right or left. I mean. Why oh, is it not working? I don't know why it's not working. How do I... Gameplay, grind settings... Oh, there we go. It worked. Kind of just touchy, I guess. You want to shoot someone, steal a car, check the trunk, find a skateboard, go steal 40 from the mini mart, and go to the skate park? That's the real sim right there, yeah. Tried to play this for the last hour, and I just can't. Love XL too much. I may have the chance to play this map eventually in XL, but yeah. This game is very hard, yeah, very difficult. No, it's not free, it's a $10 DLC. Yo, Mishi, how's it going? GTA 6 will probably be, have some version of Lot 11? Yeah, yeah, because it's in Florida? You, do you, you're actually right. I think it might have Lot 11. Definitely a good, yeah, it might have Lot 11. That'd be sick. Yo, Mikey, how's it going? Quick question, some... Sometimes my replay mode won't load. Any idea? Your replay mode won't load. Um, all I can think of is just look like maybe disable the mods that affect your replay. Like the, the better replay mod, Excel graphics, reshade. Just think of all the stuff that could affect that and then maybe turn them off and try to load the game back up and see if it works. But honestly, the, the one way you can tell that Scare Excel is working is if it doesn't work. <laughs> It means you probably have your mods uh, installed and working. You got your map working. You got your gear. And then if the game crashes consistently, yeah, your mods are working probably. It's just a very buggy game as well. 
But it's hard to tell if it's an issue or if it's just a loading issue. Like, I, I got every mod in the game, and I got like 200 pieces of clothing. And my game crashes all the time because I have too much stuff. Way too much. <sighs> Why does Kicker kick out his legs when he lands manual catch on? Like, kick, when you kick it out, like, when he lands? Um, I think what you might be seeing is that when you flick the catch, like, see what I ollie? And I put my sticks out, it makes my board go out as well. So when you flick the catch, it, you, you catch with that animation, kind of. It makes your board kind of alter. You can make the board go backwards, forward. Just do, like, a nolly. Make it go back. Nolly, make it go forward. So when you flick the catch a trick, it might make the go forward and backwards. That's kind of why I like uh, click the catch, because it doesn't affect your board. Like in Skater Excel, you can seize your tricks out while catching. Whereas I can't I can't really figure out how to seize and catch at the same time. It's like, one, it's like very sequential. I gotta like flick, wait for the board to rotate all the way around, catch it, and then steeze it out. Oh, he has the late flip. It, the late flip turned on. He's catching with the wrong foot. Okiba in my Twitch chat saying, if you have that problem, you probably have, you have late flips turned on. You're catching with the wrong foot, maybe. What's the right foot? So if I did a nolly flip, should I flick to catch it with my with my left stick? My left foot? Would that be the best way to do it? Because in real life, you're catching nolly heel with your front foot. Or like... Can you hard flip front foot down, back foot up? Okay, so towards the middle, right? Okay, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Can you hard flip to late shove it? Um, I think I can. Is that possible? A trick to a late trick? I'm not sure how to do that. Especially with manual catch. I don't know. Do I have to catch it and then flick? Like, how does that work? Possible? Oh, that was buggy. You see that? What the hell? What the hell is that? But the map looks insane. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, okay, there's a late flip there. So how do I late shove it then? I keep getting like stuck. Like late flips are making my feet get stuck in my board. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do a shove it though. Wait, you asked for a shove it or a flick? I remember now. How do I how do I scoop it? Scoop it? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Because like I have to, I have to catch the board. Right? I'm playing. I'm playing manual catch. I have to catch the board, but the catch is making a flick. He spent 20 minutes getting a line for the spot. Hopefully they film it. I think that might have been the one. They just didn't have enough air time. Dude. I'm glitchy. I'm glitching out. Okay, I'm getting... This is breaking my game a little bit, the, the late flip thing. I can't really move my feet. Map layouts. Oh yeah, I remember those. Lip tricks disabled. Wait, lip tricks are, are experimental still? Wait, I'm in the wrong section. Gameplay, flips. There.
hard flip the late shove. I turned the late flips off because I couldn't get the uh, late flips to work. Are my sliders? Want to see them? Let me do a line here. Unless you guys are my setting. It's one, one line. I might be getting off soon though, guys. I have to get some uh, food in me. I haven't eaten dinner yet. It's like, what? Is it? What time is it right now? Oh my god, it's 11. Dude, wait, what? How long have we been streaming for? Almost four. It, what the? I've been playing for almost four hours? I feel like I've been live for an hour and a half. I thought it was eight o'clock. I'm, I'm like shouting. I gotta be quiet. <laughs> I should go, uh, go to sleep soon. That's insane. Dude. I need, some di I need some breakfast soon. <laughs> just missed dinner. Yeah, I just skipped dinner. I do love this. This spot, though, is so good. I love it. This if I could skate a thing like this in real life, I would live here. Like this ledge that goes like that to the bank. That's the best kind of spot. explore more i think tomorrow i might stream again and I, I'm, I'm gonna make a video tomorrow i think i might stream as well if i can get the video out but i want to explore more spots that we didn't really check out if there's a picnic table over here i wonder if i could just grab it oh wait how can i make how can i move it how do i flick it make it go around though oh okay okay it's kind of hard to manipulate a little bit it's kind of weird i need to make it flat there we go this is so hard to do This is not really intuitive, this. I don't like this. This is needs some improvement on this uh, manipulation strategy. Triggers. Okay, I need to flat it out. There we go. Okay, that's perfect, I think. How do I make it go forward without, ro without breaking my rotation? Ugh. I need to, like, make it go forward, but I'm not sure what direction to press. <laughs> it's just, like, it's just so much work. That's fine, whatever, I'll keep it there. Just seems a little bit... Oh, that's working now. There we go. Let's try that, sure. I'm not very good at the object dropper yet. I think just, like, the more you play this game, the more, like, intuitive things you feel. But coming from, like, the, a different skateboarding game that has similar stuff, I'm like pressing overlapping inputs from that game, so it makes it actually harder for me. I'm used to pressing skitter to object dropper stuff. It makes the game weird because I'm pressing those inputs. I guess that'd be the same for skate though. Right? No stacking tables. That's a good spot. Tried the roof gap? Yeah, yeah, I tried it earlier. There's a few of them. Remind, I remind you of Rodney Mullen? I do? That's crazy. Ow. Is it my uh, the Casper tray flips? Alright, watch this. We're gonna explore the map quickly, guys. I'm gonna log off soon and then the stream, but let's take a look at what we, um, at the whole map. I'm gonna take you guys through it, okay? I'm gonna use this. <laughs> this is This is the whole map. Look at that. Look at that beautiful map. I don't think there's any spots I didn't really see, though. We didn't skate much over here. Look at those hubbas. But you start off behind these buildings. There's Hollywood 16. 
It's actually quite a big map if you take a look around. There's a couple of roof gaps here and there. Cars in the road over there. I don't need him. <laughs> you want a drink? The machine sounds lit. Yeah, some Sparks soda with two A's. Just some prop cars. There's no moving wheels on them. I think it'd be good for B-roll though. Get some B-roll clips of the cars moving. I don't know. I wish there was NPCs. But you, there is no NPCs in this map. Unfortunately, you can't populate it. People. <laughs> raid another stream? I might look into. Yeah. Is, is anybody playing Session right now? Anybody playing Skater XL or Session? I could go raid into on Twitch. I can't raid on on YouTube. Whoever made this map needs a raise. Can you believe this this map was made by a junior developer? Uh, one one single junior developer made this. Probably maybe a few people had some help, but I mean that's what I've heard at least. Almost 4 a.m. here in the UK. 2 a.m. in Australia. It's like yeah, it's like almost 12 p.m. in Canada, guys. I'm gonna log it off for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll, I'll fix my chat, and if I miss the chat, I've been really bad for reading stuff because I have. I got my YouTube opened up and my, my Twitch chat is separate for some reason. Like I have this and I'm looking at this too. I'm trying to read both and they're just not working out. I need to fix this for tomorrow to get both chats in one place. But I appreciate all you guys. Yeah, Lux, I'm going to head off. Um, I'm, I'm going to post a video tomorrow. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel, guys, if you want to watch a video. I might, might play session tomorrow in VR and look at the spots in VR to kind of get a sense of scale of the of the maps. I might stream tomorrow, monks. If I do, it will probably be later in the evening, like like this. So I'm, I'm gonna make a video in the morning, and um, if I, I'm gonna post it, and if I post it in time, I'll go live. But we'll have to see because that, that's a big day. I might skate if I have time to skate. We'll see. I go to the gym as well. Just smoke on stream. I can't. I wish I could, but I just I would be unfunctional. Uh, I just can't, I can't speak. I, maybe one day, maybe I could try it. When, when Skate 4 releases, we'll just have a smoke stash. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just can't uh, keep it together. To the people in the chat, I meant. That's a nice spot. Whoever made the map needs a Riz. Yeah, I read that one. Yeah, peace, peace guys. Thanks for chilling. Um, yeah. Um, let me take a look at Twitch. Maybe I can raid somebody. Look over here. Um, session skate sim. Maybe playing session at all? I'm sure there's somebody playing it because the DLC. Yeah, there is. Narkilly. There's actually a lot of people playing. Uh, Travis is playing too. He's the, he's the, like one of the main modders. I've never even seen him stream. There's dude. There's a ton of people streaming the game. Look, look at this. Look at, look at the sessions. Twitch right now. That's crazy. Wait, quarter snacks. Yeah, give, give, uh, go visit these guys. And there's some one viewer, two viewer streamers. Probably need some uh, people in your chat. Go, 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 go say hi, guys. I'm gonna go raid the uh, number two guy. Maybe he'll like pass it off to the people below him. So just uh, let's go raid um, Nar. Oh, Travis just dropped an impossible cable of animation mod. No way. So he's modding the game right now. That's insane. Where's my Chatterino? Raid Nar. Killy. Make sure you give him a follow when you get over there, guys. This is just for, for Twitch. If you're on YouTube, you can hop over to Twitch because I can't raid on, on YouTube and stuff. But uh, head over to Twitch if you want to keep watching some streams, guys. There's lots of, pe lots of people online right now. Alright. Alright, thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Future, Big Cat, Ghost, Oregon. I'm trying to read everybody. Marky. Let's bot. 
BM. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Alright, Milky Good stream tonight. Off. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you everybody for, for everybody for being here. Yeah, definitely one of the best maps I've seen in the game. Alright. Peace out.